Traveling from Hunter, Author, Battle Ring, Chapter 76 Collision. In a month's time, Fisher still doesn't want to leave so soon, so Fisher won't let the system teleport him back to the world of Hunter x Hunter unless it is absolutely necessary. Fisher doesn't want to be his first choice. In the fight with Rayleigh, Rayleigh let the war to go, so there was a tie. But in the face of the Navy who wants to arrest him, Fisher doesn't think the other party will let him go. Fisher has never been an arrogant person, so in the face of such a situation where he would definitely lose in a real fight, Fisher would arrange the back road in advance and leave when it is necessary to retreat. Where Robin is is still too far away, I can't teleport there all at once. Throwing hundreds of drifting bottles into the sea and letting them drift away with the current, Fisher said lightly. Fisher wanted to go and see Robin, but judging from the September 13th from his perception, the place where Robin was located was too far away from him. Fisher estimated that the place where Robin was located should be all over the world, and it is not far away from here. Some distant four seas. That distance cannot be teleported with Fisher's current magic power. Maybe wait until Fisher's favor is upgraded. Standing on the coast looking at the endless sea for a long time, Fisher left here. According to the situation in memory, Fisher came to the west of Chambord Islands, waiting for the arrival of naval warships. The Chambord Islands are very close to the Navy headquarters. Marine Fondo. Not long after Fisher came to the West Bay, the outermost part of the Chambord Islands, he saw an extremely large warship approaching from afar. Is it Sengoku this time? Why don't you come to Kizan and the others? With one hand in front of his eyes, Fisher said calmly, using the far-sighted method he learned from Nitero. Facing natural fruit ability users, Fisher, who has not acquired arrogance, is naturally a little apprehensive. But now, Fisher, who has obtained the armed domineering color, said that he wants to play three. Um, no. Three or forget it. A few years ago, Kizan's strength was not much weaker than his own. In the past few years, his strength has become stronger. But I have only passed a few days, and my strength has not changed much. Maybe the strength of Kizan and others has caught up with him. It's okay to hit three. Looking at the approaching warship, Fisher, standing on the route of the Alchiman mangrove tree, thought silently. Immediately, Fisher submerged all the breath in his body, and became extremely silent, waiting for the naval warship to dock, ready for a thunderous blow. To be honest, in the world of One Piece, Fisher is neither partial to pirates nor navy. In the final analysis, Fisher has no real idea of standing. He does not want to be a pirate or an enemy of the navy. After all, Fisher is a killer by profession. However, the system's two check-in tasks have completely pushed Fisher to the opposite side of the navy. There was no turning back between Fisher and the navy. Even if the navy withdraws Fisher's arrest warrant and spreads goodwill to Fisher, Fisher can't pretend that nothing happened. And members of the navy are not ordinary people, so Fisher has no pressure to do it. Thoughts do so. Fisher's actions do too. The violent thunder fell from the sky when the naval warship was docking, and it struck down like a catastrophe. The speed was so fast that even the General Zango didn't react at all. By the time they reacted, the huge warship was dilapidated. The raging fire was constantly burning, and the Navy suffered heavy casualties. Even the warring states didn't expect that there would be people lying in ambush here waiting for their arrival. Standing on the deck, warring states stared blankly at the scene in front of him. Watching the sailors under the command of the adjutant who were constantly putting out the fire and rescuing the wounded, strong anger burst out of his heart. Bastard. With a roar, the red-eyed Sengoku instantly turned into a golden giant Buddha, and then kicked suddenly, bursting out with a terrifying impact, and shot toward the place where Fisher was. What kind of person is the warring states? After being attacked, even if he froze for a moment, he immediately locked the source of the attack. The next moment, the golden giant Buddha collided violently with the giant Thor. In an instant, the dazzling light turned everything around into white. The big sound has no sound, but the elephant has no form. The deafening roar was long overdue. The violent impact swept across the entire Chambord Islands in an instant. Everything happened so quickly and without warning, that even the adjutants of the Warring States period had no time to stop this terrifying impact. The coast was already dilapidated. In the sea, countless sailors were smashed into the sea by warships. This powerful impact not only overturned Warring States' own warships, but the surrounding docks rose to the sky at this moment and the screams of ship repairers continued to be heard from the sky. If it falls, those who have no strength will definitely turn into meat sauce. Of course, those who fall into the sea will not. This time the collision between Fisher and Sengoku caused a much more terrifying shock than when Fisher and Rayleigh jabbed directly affected the entire Chambord Islands. However, if you think about it, it was a sparring with Rayleigh, neither side tried their best, and Fisher only used the power of the sword and the fusion of the Enhancer's arrogance. This time the collision between Fisher and Sengoku is not to be held back. The warring states, who was angry from the heart, can be said to have used all its strength. Facing the full strength shockwave of the great Buddha, even if 1.0 Fisher tried his best, he could not win against the warring states. During the impact, Fisher's figure flew upside down, rolled continuously in midair, and hit the water. You bastard, die to this old man. However, 
Even though Fisher was repelled, Zango did not stop there. Stepping on the moon cloth, he quickly chased after him, and the golden giant palm burst out with fierce light again. A shock wave followed. Boom. The big Buddha impact of the oval hit Fisher again. With an angry blow, the sky and the earth were destroyed, and an arky nose mangrove covered by the impact of the Buddha exploded directly under this force. A smear of scarlet blood also floated out in the air. With one hand, you are worthy of being an admiral. Dot. Chapter 77 The Killing Heart of the Warring States Period Fisher's purpose flying upside down in the air, Fisher's mouth oozes blood but his expression remains unchanged, as if he was not injured at all, calm and composed. Invalid. Seeing Fisher like this, Senko's eyes tightened. Effective, very effective. Warring states of the Buddha, your attack is very powerful, even compared to that old man Nitero, you might as well let it go. Fisher responded with a light smile. The shock wave of Sengoku is very powerful, and it can be compared with Nitero. Although Fisher hadn't seen Nitero's full strength. He was able to judge the rough strength of the opponent in the fight between masters. During the hunter experiment before, Fisher had fought against Nitero's hundred style Guanyin, and had already predicted the approximate power of Nitero. If Sengoku's blow was an angry one and he didn't hold back, then his strength should be about the same as Nitero. That is to say, my strength has entered the level of One Piece, the world's general. It's just that there is still some gap with the veteran generals. Looking at the burning and angry warring states, Fisher muttered to himself, O9 in a real battle with a strong person of this level, as long as I can draw evenly, then the great achievements I have obtained are enough for me to upgrade. Thinking of this, Fisher has a powerful transmuter spirit, forcibly stopped his own body. Looking at the warring states that was close at hand, the corners of Fisher's mouth rose slightly, and he stepped on the void, and the sonic boom burst. Fisher's figure exploded like a cannonball, and instantly met the enraged warring states. Exclamation mark. The thin fist directly hit the huge Buddha's palm of the Warring States period. Overlord color collision. The black and red rays of light were radiating and struck out in all directions. The surrounding space seemed to be cracked, and the violent force was constantly destroying everything around. Overlord color. Feeling the domineering spirit on Fisher's body, the anger of Zango calmed down a little, and he shouted out in surprise, as the owner of the Wang color domineering. Warring States can clearly feel the domineering from Fisher who is also a Wang color domineering user. Also, it's actually possible to transform the domineering aura into a substantial attacking move. This guy, absolutely can't stay. In an instant, Zango made the same decision as Kizan back then, full of killing intent. Although Fisher's overlord color entanglement is not powerful enough, it has already demonstrated unparalleled aptitude. The most important thing is that Fisher is still very young. Although I don't know why Fisher is still the same as Kizan described when a few years have passed, but even after a few years, Fisher is only a teenager. At this age, he already has the strength to compete with his admiral. Let Fisher continue to develop, so it's okay. In the future, there will definitely be a white beard and an ant level existence. It will be very detrimental to the navy. In an instant, Zango's heart became more and more cruel, and the power in his hand seemed to be stronger. This is, the collision of Overlord's color entanglement. The adjutant of the Warring States period who had just come down from midair was stunned when he saw the scene of distorted space in front of him. As an adjutant in the Warring States period, he was obviously well informed and knew what was going on in such a scene. Before sending Hancock off, Fisher portrays Hancock as a favor. Now that he has made a start in this world, Fisher doesn't mind continuing to develop his power in this world. So Fisher credits the Hancocks and Kerry with favor. Obviously, the qualifications of the three sisters are very strong. They have all reached the qualifications recognized by the system, and they have become one of the members of Fisher's forces. So does Kerry. Fisher obtained the bully color domineering armed color domineering, knowledge color domineering and Merlock karate from the four of them. That's right, it's Merlock karate. This power should have been mastered by Kerla in the future. But now it is fed back to Fisher by the system. This surprised Fisher. I didn't expect the system's force feedback to be able to do this kind of thing. However, this also gave Fisher a guess. That is, the power feedback of the system is randomly selected according to the original development and abilities of the characters in each world. And Fisher obtained the Merlock karate possessed by Kerla in the original book. And the Overlord Colored Arrogance is the Overlord Colored Arrogance that Hancock had when he grew up and became the King of Kiyu High. That is the domineering look that Hancock has practiced for many years, the very advanced and profound Overlord look, which has already touched the entanglement of the Overlord look. Before gaining this power, Fisher had already personally experienced Rayleigh's domineering entanglement. So after acquiring Hancock's Overlord like arrogance, Fisher also specifically asked Rayleigh for advice. With a powerful talent and the ability to increase tenfold, Fisher easily mastered this skill. It's just that the domineering look that has just been mastered is still immature. He is very passive when confronting a strong man like Warring States who has mastered the Overlord's color for many years. However, it doesn't matter, Fisher will take the initiative to attack this time because he wants to use the Warring States period as a training opponent to accumulate his great achievements and achieve the goal of upgrading. 
Originally, he was looking for the Warring States to hone his fighting skills, so it didn't matter whether he could suppress the Warring States or not. But at this time, in a faraway place, Xiechi was standing on the trunk of an Alchiman mangrove tree, holding a telescope to watch the situation here. It's really scary. Compared with the previous battle with Rayleigh, Xi your little brother's strength seems to have become stronger again. Moreover, even the Overlord color entanglement appeared at 350. If you let Lily know, your jaw will definitely drop in shock, Xi Qi said with a smile on the face of the battle in the binoculars. But she knew that just now Fisher asked Lee about the technique of Overlord's entanglement, but she didn't expect to use it now. Under such circumstances, Lee knew about it, how could Lee not be shocked? She wasn't sure if Lee was shocked or not, but she was just very shocked now. However, little brother Fisher's strength is so terrifying, and the Navy headquarters is so close to here, I'm afraid something will happen. After laughing. Chong Chi became worried. As for why Xia Chi is so concerned about Fisher's safety not long after she first met Fisher. Of course there is reason for that. On the way to the Chambord Islands with the three of Hancock, Fisher had already eaten the sweet fruit rewarded by the system. After eating this fruit, Fisher naturally did not become full of the kind of beauty that is enough to charm others like Hancock. But it is also full of charm, which makes it easy for people to feel good and want to care unconsciously. This is the case with Xia Chi now. However, she didn't know that it was because of the sweet fruit. Because Fisher is a thunder fruit capable person, so Xia Chi didn't think it was this reason at all. But when Fisher was targeted by the Navy like herself, the same camp, so have a good impression. Dot. Chapter 78 The Depressed Warring States Period. The battle was still going on, and the battle between Fisher and Sengoku had destroyed the entire west coast. There was not a single piece of good land. Even the Alchiman mangrove was completely destroyed and fell on the broken ground. A series of earth shattering explosions continued to roar in the sky. The battle between Fisher and Sengoku didn't have any fancy tricks, but it was a full-fledged, power-to-bomb battle. The powerful impact caused by the attack of the two made the people in the navy dare not approach at all. However, the only adjutant capable of approaching here was at this time leading a large group of sailors who had landed from the sea into the Chambord Islands to maintain order. Such a big movement has affected the entire Chambord Islands, and the residents of the entire Chambord Islands have fallen into fear of the German king. Without their joining to maintain order, the entire Chambord Islands would have been in chaos long ago. Anyway, they can't intervene in the battle between Fisher and Sengoku, and they dare not intervene. Even the adjutant can't intervene in this way of fighting between the two. Lieutenant General Welfen, is it really good if we don't help General Sengoku? In the Chambord Islands, a naval colonel came to the adjutant of Sengoku and asked with a frown, Do you think that kind of battle scene can be handled with our strength? Lieutenant General Welfen heard the words, looked at the colonel, and then asked back, This, I can't intervene. The colonel hesitated for a moment then shook his head. But even so, the colonel's face was hesitant to speak. The elite sailors of the Navy headquarters, especially the sailors on their warship, can fight in the New World. But even so, they are not qualified to intervene in this level of battle. Intervening in this kind of battle will only become a burden to the generals of the Warring States period and become cannon fodder. However, they came with the Warring States General but let the Warring States General fight alone. This situation made him very unwilling. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. I have already informed Marshal Kong. Marshal Kong has sent Lieutenant General Popolo Salino over. Seeing the colonel's appearance, the adjutant shook his head, and then said, Really? Exclamation mark. That's great. With the support of Lieutenant General Pelusalino, General Warring States will definitely be able to take down that guy. The colonel was overjoyed and said excitedly, As early as after they landed, the adjutant of the Warring States period, Welfen, had already notified the matter here to Marshal Kong Kong of the Navy headquarters. According to time estimates, Lieutenant General Pelusalino should be here soon. Probably, the adjutant of the Warring States period looked at the well-maintained scene and muttered in a low voice. On the other side, on the coast, the battle between Fisher and Sengoku has continued. However, Fisher has gone from bare hands to natural teeth. Using the swordsmanship and overlord's entanglement to assist the power of the thunder fruit, Fisher has changed from being a disadvantage at the beginning to being on par with the Warring States period. The strength is slowly improving. After all, fighting is not as good as life and death fighting. When fighting with Lee, Fisher's strength has not improved significantly. But in the battle with the Warring States, under the pressure of life and death, Fisher's strength has improved rapidly. The combat skills learned from Father Silver, Grandpa Gino, Old Man Nitero and others quickly integrated into Fisher's combat instincts, and Fisher's combat skills gradually took shape, forming Fisher's own system. Fisher's combat experience has also been improved unprecedentedly. It is not as good as fighting a weak person for a hundred or a thousand games against a strong person who is stronger than himself and has more combat experience than himself. In the battle against the Warring States, Fisher's combat experience can be said to have completely entered the physical experience. The range of a hundred battles. The improvement of combat experience also makes Fisher's own flaws disappear continuously, making up for Fisher's shortcomings. This point. 
The Warring States period who fought with Fisher also saw it. There is nothing the Warring States can do about it. He didn't keep his hand, he shot with the aim of killing Fisher from the beginning, but was blocked by Fisher. Not only that, Fisher is still constantly absorbing this combat experience and combat skills in the battle with him, mastering them, and integrating them into himself to become his own. He could only watch helplessly as Fisher, who was at a disadvantage in his hands, gradually turned into a formidable enemy against him, which made Zan go very depressed. But no way, I can't take down Fisher with my current strength alone. The only way to take down Fisher is to consume Fisher's physical strength, making Fisher unable to fight anymore. Of course, there is another way, and that is to besiege Fisher. And thinking of this, warring states couldn't help but secretly scolded his adjutant Welfin in his heart. Other subordinates can't intervene, so you can't intervene? It's not okay to leave the maintenance of order to other people, so you have to do it yourself? Didn't I let you be my adjutant just to let you help me share the pressure during the battle? Fortunately, you ran away by yourself. He cursed inwardly. But the Warring States period did not relax for a while, and the attacks in his hands were still fierce and violent. He knew that his adjutant did not come to help, but he would not be so stupid as to really maintain order. He should have already contacted the Navy headquarters. I just need to drag Fisher here, and wait until the reinforcements from the Navy headquarters arrive, then everything will be settled. Don't care about Xiao Juji who is in Zhang heart, but Fisher who knows his own changes at this time, is extremely excited. The more he fights, the braver he is. Thor, if it's not Thor, it's enhancer domineering, if it's not enhancer domineering, it's domineering entanglement. In addition, there are many assassination techniques of Fisher. The tricks that Fisher knows are constantly being released in Fisher's hands, as if they don't need money, and they are repeated over and over again. Time passed quickly amid Fisher's indiscriminate bombardment. At a certain moment, Fisher suddenly withdrew from the battlefield after sending out a strong slash to force Sengoku back. This made Sengoku, who was slightly depressed because he couldn't win Fisher, be a little dazed. However, the next moment, Fisher's words and actions made Sengoku go into a rage. Vertical bar thank you for being my sparring partner, Sengoku general. Putting his natural teeth into the scabbard, Fisher smiled at Sengoku with blood on his face. Well done. He waved his hand and said, after the words were closed. Fisher's figure instantly disappeared from Sengoku's sight. And Warring States has not yet reacted. And at this moment, a golden light appeared beside Sango. Warring States General, where's that guy? Pelusino, with one hand in his pocket, glanced at the mess around him, and asked with some doubts. At this time, Zango finally reacted, and immediately roared out of the factory in anger. Abominable spatial ability user. The roar was transmitted far, far away, and even came back to God under the protection of Erxia Hongshu. Hateful spatial ability user, user. User, Pelusino. Hearing the echo, Zango almost spat out a mouthful of blood. I procrastinated here for so long just to wait for reinforcements to come, but as soon as Pelusino arrived, this guy left suddenly. I have worked so hard for so long, but I am doing nothing. Chapter 79, The Targeted Fisher, Renewing Grace. Just kidding. The Chambord Islands are so close to the Marine Headquarters of the Navy, and he has been fighting the Warring States here for so long, how could Fisher be unprepared? The circle that Fisher obtained from Gailu never stopped during the battle. When the yellow ape arrived, Fisher noticed it immediately, so he decisively ended the battle and left the battlefield. It's okay to fight the Warring States period, but it's still not sensitive to thank you for another yellow monkey. The roar of the Warring States period was heard by Fisher standing on a drifting bottle even though he had already appeared on the sea. This guy has lost his temper. However, is it the tradition of the Navy to bully the few with the more? When I was in Ahara, it was Kizun and Sarkarski and Mary Jaiwa was Pelusino and Kendo Wu Laoxing. Now it's Sengoku and Pelusino. There is only one person who bullies me. Wait, wait until Robin and Hancock grow up, and see if I don't make trouble for you. Floating up and down on the drifting bottle in the sea, Fisher looked at the direction of the Chambord Islands and said unhappily curled his lips. The Navy also bullied himself that he didn't have any helpers, so he called for helpers every time, otherwise he would not be his opponent. Even in the Warring States period, I was at a disadvantage at the beginning but it gradually became a tie after fighting. If it continues, it may not be sure who will consume the other. Anyway, Fisher never worried about his lack of physical strength. The powerhouses in One Piece world are all perverted in terms of physical strength. This is known from the fact that Okiji and Kizan fought in 753 pound Hazak for 10 days and 10 nights before the winner was decided. But the powerhouses of the Hunter x Hunter world aren't bad in this regard. Didn't you see that old guy Nitero didn't replenish his body for two full years when he was practicing prayer when he was young? Although Fisher's physique is not as good as that of Nitero at that time, the gap is not too big. Even though Fisher is still very young, I feel that Fisher has not made much achievements in this area. You know, the basic values of Fisher's five levels of God's grace have all reached the SSS limit, so one can imagine how strong Fisher is physically. However, there is a long way to go. So, 
Where should we go next? Although I want to compete with the masters in this world, I don't know how to find them. Looking at the boundless sea, Fisher looked confused. The world of One Piece is too big. Powerful pirates such as Whitebeard are in the New World, not on the Great Route. And I don't know how to reach the New World. If I knew it earlier, I should have put Transmuter's training on the agenda earlier. Transmuter can not only float out of thin air, but also fly when he has cultivated his thoughts to the extreme. Fisher is only able to stand in the air for a short time with the Transmuter's mind energy, just like when Nitero fought Neferpatu, the Catwoman, but he can't use Transmuter to fly. By the way, when Grandpa Jinuo wanted to call me Long Sink, he should have learned it. How cool it is to fly. However, there is no medicine for regret. Fisher muttered in a low voice. When his grandfather Jinuo taught him, he asked Fisher if he wanted to learn from his creations of dragon teeth and dragon stars. However, Fisher preferred kill you as speed, lightning and lightning at that time, so he didn't learn this, but devoted himself to developing none of the thunder and lightning system. Thinking about it now, if he had developed the ability of dragon star group, he would be able to fly freely in the high sky. Well, I've thought too much, let's find a place to update and Hui first. Competing with Rayleigh and fighting against the warring states, my great achievement points should be enough to support my new round of upgrades. Shaking off the scattered thoughts in his head, Fisher determined the current goal. The Enhancer wrapped the drifting bottle under his feet, and the lightning covered the back of the drifting bottle. Fisher released the circle with all his strength, and then rushed out in a random direction. At the same time, the Holy Land of Mary Jioa was attacked and Fisher's arrest warrant has been spread all over the world under the spread of big news. People in One Piece world were shocked after seeing the news. In the New World, the great pirates entrenched in various regions of the New World also received this information at this time, and they expressed different opinions one after another. On the Boundless Sea, Moby Dick, the Whitebeard Pirates, roams wildly in this sea. One is six or seven meters tall, with long golden wavy hair and a crescent-shaped white tuft on his mouth. The bearded little giant was currently browsing through a newspaper. At a certain moment, Ajik, the little giant opened his mouth wide and laughed wantonly. la 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 interesting, interesting, I didn't expect that someone would dare to attack the place of Marie Jo. It's really a newborn calf who is not afraid of tigers, but it is worthy of praise. The big pirate named Newgate said nothing. He was stingy with his own praise and praised the wanted poster in the newspaper. Right, Dad. I was shocked when I saw it just now. I didn't expect that someone would dare to break into a heavily guarded place like Marie Joya, and even left calmly after wreaking havoc. This can be said to be a shame for the world government. On the side, with a punk hairstyle Mark also laughed at this time. I really look forward to meeting this kid. Marco, tell me to go down and pay close attention to this kid's whereabouts. If this kid comes to the new world, tell me immediately. Newgate with a white beard ordered to Marco. Father, you want this kid to be our partner right? I know, I will attract attention, Marco said with a smile. You la 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 la. On the other side, the red-haired Shanks, who had just entered the new world with the partners he had recruited from all over the world, was also reading the newspaper with a dignified expression. Marie Jaioa, it's terrible. In Wano country, in a huge cave, Kaido is holding a huge wine bottle and gulping down. Look for me, find the trace of that guy, and report to me. IWC, find, find that kid for me. With such a powerful force at such a young age, the genes must be very strong. My mother wants this boy to be my thirtieth husband, and my mother wants to give birth to a stronger child. Why? The men below, at this time, during the Great Route, Fisher had just found a deserted island, and had no idea that he had been targeted by three monsters from the New World. And one of them wrapped himself around himself. If Fisher knew, he would definitely run away. At this time, Fisher has already begun to give himself a favor update. Fisher's old eek. LV.5. Power. SSS 1969 SSS 1999 Durability SSS 1996 SSS 1999 Smart SSS 1959 SSS 1999 Agility SSS 1999 SSS 1999 Magic SSS 1086 SSS 1999 Development Ability, Life, A, Swordsman, B, Killer, C, Magic Guide, C, Magic, Blink, Instantly Move, You can move to the marked place without singing, and it will consume a lot of magic power. Skill, N, the ability to manipulate life energy, freely manipulate the life energy emitted from the body to form a powerful ability. 3 Color Domineering, The Domineering Color of the King, The Domineering Color of the Armed, and The Domineering Color of Knowledge. Dot. Chapter 80 Grace Upgrade, Robin's Decision Looking at the parchment in his hand, the corners of Fisher's mouth curled up, and a faint smile appeared on his face. Sure enough, I guessed right. The battle with Rayleigh and the battle with the Warring States have allowed me to accumulate enough great achievements, and I can already upgrade. Arrogance has been absorbed into Grace, 
and it has become a skill tilder. But why haven't the abilities of the thunder fruit and sweet fruit been revealed? Fisher was a little puzzled, although he was puzzled, Fisher didn't think too much about it, and once again operated on the favor on his back, and directly upgraded it. As for where the parchment came from, it was naturally taken out of Fisher's system space. In order to be able to update boons anytime and anywhere, Fisher has stored a lot of them in it. Soon, Fisher successfully upgraded his favor. Fisher Zoldig, LV.6, Strength, SSS 1999 10. Durability, SSS 1999 10. Smart, SSS 1999 10. Agility, SSS 1999 10. Magic, SSS 1999 10. Development ability, Life, A, Swordsman, B, Killer, C, Magic Guide, C, Choices, Thunder, Charm, Warrior, Adventure, Magic, Blink, Instantly Move, You can move to the marked place without singing, and it will consume a lot of magic power. Skill, N, The ability to manipulate life energy, freely manipulate the life energy emitted from the body to form a powerful ability. Three color domineering. The domineering color of the king. The domineering color of the armed, and the domineering color of knowledge. Hey, I just said why I didn't see the ability of the thunder fruit and the sweet fruit. It turns out that I came here to develop the ability. However, it's not bad to become a development ability. Looking at the favor table that appeared after the update, Fisher's eyes were instantly attracted by the development ability. You must know that the improvement of the development ability of favor will be affected by favor. Positive effects. The development ability recorded on the boon will make it easier for Fisher to develop, improve and even master this ability. Fishers, Life, and, Swordsman, are like this. Under the effect of grace and tenfold increase, they have been promoted to A level and B level in just a few years. Their strength, even a B level swordsman has already surpassed Fisher's swordsmanship. He has reached the level of a great swordsman in the world of One Piece. It is estimated that if it reaches A level, it can be compared with the world's number one swordsman. Fisher was able to possess this level of Kendo strength while practicing Raiden, and Fisher's swordsman development ability is also indispensable. And once Fisher's Thunder Fruit ability is included in Inhui's development ability, then Fisher will definitely add a buff that will do more with less when developing it tenfold. Naturally, Fisher is delighted with this kind of thing. Without even thinking about it, Fisher made a decision. This time, he chose the Thunder for the development of his abilities. Although he chose this kind of Thunder, it didn't have immediate effect. Fisher didn't feel any changes in the power of Thunder in his body. If you want to discover this kind of change, you can only feel it when you develop the power of the Thunderous Fruit. However, he didn't feel the change in the ability of the Thunderbolt Fruit, but Fisher's perception of his own body felt the huge improvement in all aspects of his body, and the explosive power produced by the sudden huge increase in strength gave Fisher a sense of kind of floating feeling. My current strength is completely capable of confronting the warring states, and I may even win the battle. Facing three of Kizun and the others, I should be able to really say that I want to play three. That's right, Fisher floated. Kidding. Sure enough, and Hughes, strength will have a very huge change every time she upgrades, especially for an adventurer like me who has raised all values to the limit. Furthermore, the increase in grace has even increased the mine energy in my body so much. After making some complaints about himself, Fisher couldn't help but sigh with emotion. Now I just upgraded to if.6, and when I upgraded, my strength improved. What kind of strength improvement will Fisher get in the next upgrade? Zero. This Fisher does not know. However, what is certain is that once Fisher upgrades his favor to the real limit, then his own strength is estimated to be able to easily sweep the entire One Piece world. As for the Hunter x Hunter world, forget it. The level of the Hunter x Hunter world is too high. The human kingdom is weak, but the Dark Continent is so strong that even gods have appeared. Dot. Fisher doesn't know how strong the number of Nian Chi in his body is now. Fisher estimates that the value of Nian Chi in his body should be close to that guy UP. After the impact of this upgrade of grace, excited just thinking about it. Ha. Huh. Let's find an inhabited island first, and see if we can buy a map and record pointers. The world of One Piece is huge, but the ocean area is too outrageous. I don't know if I can find the next competitor in a month, or I can only harm the navy headquarters. Standing up from the beach, Fisher directly changed the dirty clothes, and then looked whispering softly with the sponge. Navy, thank you so much. After muttering, Fisher flickered and left the place where he was staying. At the same time, on a certain small island, on a small hillside that is like spring all the year round, in a simple and cozy little house, the flowers have already grown, even though they are only 11 years old, they are already slim and graceful. The budding Robin is holding a newspaper with joy on his face. Brother Fisher finally appeared again. Robin, what do you decide? Are you going to find Fisher? While Robin was muttering, Robin's mother, Olvia, came in from outside, smiling, and asked Robin gently. Mom, I'm going to find Brother Fisher. Facing his mother's inquiry, Robin made a decision without any hesitation. Okay. Mom will accompany you to find him. Olvia nodded gently and agreed. Dot. 
Chapter 81 Encountering Carp by Chance, Anticlimactic, One Piece World is Trouble, not to mention the messy magnetic field, there is no advanced GPS electronic map navigation yet, why didn't I think of asking Lily Oxia Chi for a record pointer before, Fisher sat on the head of a sea king with all kinds of strange things on the sea, with his arms crossed, muttering helplessly, because I didn't expect this before, so now I can only float on the sea, and because he didn't know the direction, Fisher directly broke into the calm zone, the lair of sea kings, drifting there for several days did not find a small island, if things go on like this, Fisher will not even go to the new world to find experts to learn from, and even his plan to go to the navy before going back will be ruined. Did you do it on purpose? Thinking of this, Fisher became a little annoyed, and punched the sea king who was carrying him bitterly, and a 950 wailing resounded across the sea area. Well, forget it, I know you didn't mean it so I'll let you off this time. I don't know where Robin is now. I still miscalculated. Even if I upgrade, my magic power is not enough for me to teleport directly to Liu Obao's side, and Hancock's side too. Did I run to that sea area? Why do you feel that you're getting farther and further away from Hancock and Robin? Looking at the vast and endless sea, Fisher's eyes were slightly dull, and his expression was a little dull. He could feel where Hancock and Robin were, but the distance was too far, and even the upgraded magic power was not enough to teleport him there. Well, is it my illusion? Why does it feel like a warship is approaching in front? Suddenly, a small black dot appeared in Fisher's field of vision, which made Fisher squint his eyes and muttered about speeding up. Immediately, Fisher put his fingers into a circle and placed it in front of his eyes, using his thoughts to look around. This look really made Fisher find hope in this vast sea. Thousands of nautical miles away, there is a warship sailing slowly at this time. There is no limit to the road. Looking at the black spots in the distance, Fisher had a smile on his eyes, patting the sea kings under him. Shell said goodbye to them, big man, you are free. After speaking, Fisher turned into a bolt of lightning and rushed out. However, within a few seconds of rushing out, Fisher stopped in midair, unexpectedly looking at the warship in the distance and at the dog-headed prow. Are you meeting this guy? Looks like it's time to fight, Fisher murmured in a low voice, and then a flash of light flashed in his eyes. On the other side, on the watchtower of the warship that Fisher saw just now, there was an extremely burly man in a black suit with a scar at the corner of his eye. Bubbles popped out big and small. If Fisher were here, he would definitely recognize this guy's identity immediately. Naval hero, elite lieutenant general Monkey D. Carp. When Fisher's murmur fell, the bubble on Garp's nose suddenly shattered, and Garp quickly opened his eyes. What a strong breath. Jumping up, Garp came to the window of the watchtower and looked out, muttering in a low voice. Immediately, Garp ignored the blocking of the window, punched the window directly, left the warship on moon steps, and rushed towards the direction where Fisher was. Lieutenant Admiral Gupp, the adjutant on the deck below frowned slightly when he saw this scene, but he didn't make a fuss, as did the other sailors. After all, my family knows their own affairs, and they are no exception to whatever Gupp will do suddenly. However, most of the idle sailors still turned their attention to the direction Gupp left. There is a powerful presence in that place. Looking over, the adjutant also sensed Fisher's presence, and his eyes under the hat suddenly froze. Lean over to Lieutenant General Gupp. Immediately, the adjutant waved his hand and issued an order. At this time, on the sea. Fisher's calm combat power was in midair, quietly waiting for Garp's arrival. Just now, Fisher has released a fleeting aura, and Fisher believes that Garp can definitely feel it from such a small distance. As soon as the thought was over, Fisher felt a violent breath coming in an instant. Accompanied by the sound of a sonic boom, Garp's voice appeared in front of Fisher violently, stepping on one foot in front of Fisher. Huh? I didn't expect it to be your kid. Ha ha, boy, you dare to attract this old man here on purpose, you really are not afraid of death. After arriving here, Garp suddenly showed a look of surprise, and then burst out laughing. Why not? Warring states, I dare to prove that I will fight against you. Is there anything special about you Carp? Fisher asked with a smile. That's right, even the warring states period can't take you down. You do have some skills, and you have the qualifications to be so arrogant. Boy, I really admire the fact that you attacked Mary Jaoa. Without O'Hara and Mary Jo, the old man thinks we can be very good friends. However, it's a pity that our positions are too clear. Garp nodded in admiration but then shook his head regretfully. If it wasn't because of these two things, he really wanted to make friends with Fisher. After all, Fisher's character who dared to directly hurt Mary Jaoa was very suitable for him, and he could definitely become friends. That's right, it's an honor to be praised so much by the naval hero card. Fisher smiled, not taking it seriously. Since I let the old man see it, then the old man can't pretend it didn't happen. Boy, let the horse come here. Garp grinned and said with a smile, and he didn't mean to regard Fisher as an enemy at all in his words but he did it's for Fisher to do it. I also want to experience the strength of the naval here Garp, Fisher said lightly when he heard the words, and then violent thunder and lightning began to emerge from his body, and the terrifying momentum erupted instantly. Dark clouds, lightning and thunder. Hey, the weather is actually affected to such an extent, 
boy, your thunder fruit must have awakened. 0.3 Seeing this scene, Garp was extremely surprised. Not yet. Fisher shook his head lightly, and began to speak, but in the middle of speaking, Fisher stopped. The thunder and lightning on his body disappeared in an instant, and the sky was also clear in an instant, as if nothing happened just now. Huh? What's the matter with you kid? Seeing this, Carp frowned, very puzzled. He had already started to charge up and was ready to attack, but Fisher stopped suddenly, which made his charge come to an end without a problem. It felt like he had punched Cotton, which was very depressing. However, Fisher ignored him, looked deeply at Garp, shook his head, and then disappeared from Garp's sight in a flash. Fight again when you have time. I'm leaving. Carp! Exclamation mark. Chapter 82 Robin's Companion, Reunion At the same time, somewhere in the East China Sea, on a small ship, Robin stood at the bow, staring straight ahead. There, there is a continent of the entire pirate world. The Red Earth Continent. That's right, Robin is near the Upside Down Mountain at this time, ready to enter the Upside Down Mountain. Brother Fisher, you should be able to feel my presence when I enter the Great Route, so come and find me. Looking at the upstream current, Robin's expression remained unchanged and he muttered inwardly, Nicole Robin, are you serious? In the East China Sea, the Navy headquarters can't catch your trace, but once you enter the Great Route, the chance of being exposed is very high. When Robin was thinking about Fisher, the door from the cabin was opened, then a strong man with short white hair, wearing a big coat, bare chest, carrying a handful of hands on his back, and two cigars in his mouth came out and said to you oh, oh nine. This strong man was none other than Smoker, who was still young, and for some unknown reason, he got mixed up with Robin. If Fisher saw it, he might be shocked in his heart, because Smoker is a Navy guy, and he has his own absolute justice in his heart. Olvia's daughter met Robin on the same boat, but she didn't make any moves. Well, I've made up my mind, I'm going to find Brother Fisher. Robin turned his head and said to Smoker with a calm tone, Forget it, it's up to you. Seeing this, Smoker knew that he couldn't persuade Robin, so he had to give up. However, looking at Robin with a firm face, Smoker remembered the scene where he met Robin in Rotown a few years ago. Not long after joining the army. I met mother and daughter Olvia and Robin who appeared in Rotown, and recognized their identities. As soon as he got the smog fruit, the young and energetic self wanted to arrest the two of them, and then, without accident, he was cleaned up by Robin, letting him know that even if he is a natural fruit ability user, he is not invincible. There are people outside, and there are days outside the sky. Later, because they refused to admit defeat, after Olvia and Liu Obao's mother and daughter left Rotown, they chased after them desperately and his fate also changed dramatically at that moment. On the way to hunt down Robin, he saw the dark side of the Navy and the East China Sea, which had a very strong impact on his heart and completely destroyed the justice that had just sprouted in his heart. From then on, Smoker didn't trust the Navy anymore, and followed Robin and Olvia to swim in the East China Sea, killing pirates in his own name. Moreover, he also learned the truth about the O'Hara incident from Robin and Olvia, which made Smoker very disappointed with the Navy and directly chose to become Robin's companion and travel around the world with Y. For Smoker, villains like pirates are killed in the Navy, and they are killed when they are traveling together, and there is not much difference. And, you don't have to go with those notorious Navy colors. In the past few years, he traveled all over the world with Robin, and learned the ability of domineering from Robin. None of the pirates in the whole world is his opponent. It wasn't until a year ago that Robin didn't want to wander anymore, so he followed Robin back to the East China Sea secretly maintaining the order of the East China Sea. As for the Great Route, he doesn't plan to go to that place right now. His strength can run wild in the Four Seas, but in the Great Route, he seems a bit powerless. He also needs precipitation. If Robin hadn't called him this time, he wouldn't have thought of coming to the Reverse Mountain. Sister Robin, it is estimated that in another hour, we will follow the countercurrent and enter the Upside Down Mountain. As soon as Smoker finished speaking, a blonde little Lily came out of the cabin and looked at Liu O with a serious face. Bin Huai reports. Thank you. Khalifa. Robin nodded with a smile. Khalifa is an orphan picked up by Robin in other sea areas when he traveled around the world. After picking up Khalifa, Robin felt compassion and took him with him. Khalifa seems to have a natural talent for sailing, and over time this talent has come to light. So Robin asked her to assist her mother, Olvia, with the task of navigating their boat. Sister Robin, after we meet Lord Fisher, can we really ask Lord Fisher to grant us the ability that Miss Robin possesses? He stopped, ran to Robin's side excitedly and asked Robin excitedly. When Smoker heard what Khalifa said, his eyes couldn't help flickering a few times. Obviously, Smoker was also very interested in what Khalifa said. After several years of getting along, Smoke also knows that Robin has a power that can help Robin become stronger. Also because of the existence of this power, no matter how hard I try, I will only eat ashes behind Robin. Even if I have learned to be armed with domineering, knowledge like domineering, and constantly develop the ability of the smoke fruit, every time I compete, 
I will still be defeated by Liu Ouwu. His nose was bruised and his face was swollen. So he's kidding about not caring what happened to Robin. Ah, I will ask Brother Fisher when the time comes. Robin reached out and gently stroked the little Lalita Khalifa's head, assuring gently, Huh? Do you want this little guy to portray Enhu? Just as Robin finished speaking, a strange yet familiar voice came into Robin's ears. Not far away, Smoker almost jumped up and rushed towards Robin. However, after seeing the appearance of the figure appearing beside Robin, Smoker forcibly suppressed the idea of doing it himself. Fisher, why are you here? Smoker asked, frowning. Brother Fisher. Robin shouted excitedly when he heard the familiar voice. The voice was so loud that even Olvia in the cabin was attracted. Fisher. Chapter 83 Changes in Robin. Formation of One Piece World Forces. Smoke. Smoker. Hearing Smoker's voice, Fisher, who had just flickered over, couldn't help but look over. After seeing that the owner of the voice was Smoker, Fisher's eyes twitched suddenly and there was a deep look in his eyes. Incredibly dense. Fisher felt that his three views were shattered, and his jaw almost dropped from shock. Who I am? Where am I? Where am I going? How could Smoker be with Robin? Besides, from what this guy said, it seems that he and Robin are getting along very well. When he came back to his senses, Fisher looked at Smoker with a strange expression. With a cool look, silver hair, hands behind his back, and a cigar in his mouth. This is indeed the standard equipment of Smoker Smoker, right? Why are you following Robin? Brother Fisher, let me introduce you. He is Smoker. He was originally a newcomer to the Navy. He was defeated by me and saw the darkness of the Navy clearly, so he became my companion. This is Khalifa, I met when I was traveling around the world. Robin didn't know what Fisher was thinking at this time, and excitedly introduced his two companions to Fisher. Khalifa, hearing Robin's introduction, Fisher frowned, and looked at the little blonde next to Robin. Good guy, not only abducted the potential natural ability users in the Navy, but also abducted the future members of CP9, Robin, you are very capable, Fisher scanned Robin's body, thinking strangely in his heart, however, looking at it this way, Zyxia called him a good guy again, Robin's growth is not only manifested in means, but his own growth is also very terrifying, with this figure, if I remember correctly, Robin is only 11 years old now, if it weren't for the immature face, she would be the second Olvia, that girl Hancock is only a flat-chested little girl at the age of 12, and the rhythm of being completely killed in seconds, is it because of cultivation that promotes the growth of the body, so it grows so fast? Fisher hung, I've changed a lot. With Fisher scanning his whole body, Robin didn't feel shy at all, instead he stopped his chest and said confidently, Ah, I didn't expect you to have changed so much. I don't even dare to admit it. Fisher didn't deny it, and nodded seriously. Hearing this, Robin's face was filled with joy, and his heart was filled with joy. Okay, don't stay here anymore, let's talk in the cabin. At this moment, Olvia who had been smiling and watching Fisher and Robin communicate without opening a word, said, Ah, yes, yes, brother Fisher, go into the cabin. The wind and waves are too strong outside. Robin also reacted in time and said hastily, All right, let's go, tell me about your situation in the past few years. Yeah, brother Fisher, let me tell you, I've worked very hard these past few years. The favor you have given me has made me already promoted to 4-4. Even the captain of the navy is no match for me. Liu O said. Bin held Fisher's hand and led Fisher towards the cabin, excitedly asking for credit as he walked. Olvia, Smoker and Khalifa also followed them into the cabin. An hour later, Fisher finally learned from Robin what Robin and Olvia had experienced in the past few years. After Fisher left, Robin and Olvia directly started traveling around the world. Because Fisher said that Robin should improve his strength and the condition needed for the promotion of graces to fight and kill the enemy. Faced with this situation, Robin naturally needs to walk around the sea to find the strong. In a few years, Robin and Olvia visited almost all of the other four sea areas except for the Great Sea Route and the New World. Smoker and Khalifa met when they traveled around the world, and they became companions by chance. And during this period, because of a lot of battles, Robin's favor was upgraded to LV.4, and Olvia was almost upgraded to LV.3. Robin also picked out the most powerful naval captains in the world which caused a great stir, and it was precisely because of this that Robin and the others attracted the attention of the Navy headquarters, so they cancelled their plans to travel and lived in seclusion. He has been living in seclusion for a year now, and this time he saw the news about Fisher in the newspaper, so Robin went into the sea again, trying to find Fisher. Unexpectedly, Fisher suddenly came to her. That's right, it's fine. After listening to Robin and others' experience, Fisher patted Robin's head gently and said, Nothing happened for the best. When Fisher left before, what he was most worried about was that Robin would have an accident after he left, so he asked Robin to improve his strength. In the world of One Piece, all tragedies stem from lack of strength. Only when the strength is strong enough can all dangers and disasters be killed in the bud. According to Robin's story, she killed every colonel in the world with one punch. Compared with the naval captains of the Navy headquarters, the naval captains of the Four Seas need to lower three military ranks in terms of strength, that is, 
the rank of captains of the Navy headquarters. Being able to kill the captain of the Navy headquarters in one punch, Robin's strength should already have the level of a major general of the Navy headquarters. It took a few years to go from a helpless child to this level, which is already a huge improvement, which made Fisher very gratified. Robin lived up to his expectations and didn't waste the favor she gave him. And Olvia's strength is much worse. Unlike Leo Bing, Olvia has intermediate level arm domineering and knowledge like domineering, and her aptitude is not as good as Robin. So after a few years, his strength has only been raised to the level of a Navy captain which is comparable to the strength of a navy captain in the four seas. As for Smoker, this guy's strength can already be compared with the colonel of the navy headquarters. And the little Lilai Khalifa has just started to practice, and has not experienced any battles. However, according to Robin, Khalifa can deal with several sea soldiers under her training. Smoker, Khalifa, do you two want to portray Grace? After a short reminiscence, Fisher directly asked Smoker and Khalifa. Now that he has become Robin's partner, Fisher, Kian Haha will naturally not be stingy. If the two are willing, Fisher will also describe the favor to the two and let the two get the auxiliary pain of the favor. After all, the strength of the two has improved, and Robin is safer in this world. I can only stay here for more than ten days now, and I don't know when I will come next time. Characterizing in Hue I will become your subordinate, right? Smoker said straight to the point. Well, it's the same as Robin, but don't worry, I won't interfere with your development. Because in ten days or so, I will leave again. Fisher nodded and replied truthfully. I am willing, brother Fisher. Khalifa, on the other hand, agreed directly after hearing Fisher's inquiry. And judging from her expression, Khalifa was obviously looking forward to it. Is that so? Then I'll show you the favor. Fisher stroked Khalifa's little head gently, and said with a smile. One Piece's world forces began to form. Dot. Chapter 84 Khalifa, Smoker, Big Mom Pirates. Robin. I'll give you a task, Fisher said to Robin while showing favor to Khalifa. What mission? Brother Fisher? Robin asked quickly after hearing the words. Create a force secretly, can you do it? Fisher said without raising his head. Power? Ah, power. A person who is strong, as strong as an admiral, as powerful as those great pirates in the new world, is not invincible in this world. If you want to avoid being bullied, you need a powerful force to support you. Robin, I need you to form a force comparable to the big pirates in the new world. Do you have confidence? Having said that, Fisher paused his hands that portrayed Anne Hewitt, and looked up at Robin and asked expectantly. In the world of Hunter x Hunter, he is going smoothly, even if he is forced to be tough with the top five and like Nitero. He doesn't need it. Because the Zoldyk family is deeply entrenched and powerful in the world of Hunter x Hunter. Even if you can't beat Nitero, you can invite your great-grandfather Maha. And these two times when he came to the world of One Piece, Fisher was forced to use Magic Flash to leave the battlefield because of fighting alone. Although it seems casual and unrestrained, 853 escaped in embarrassment. Fisher doesn't want to encounter this kind of thing again. But there's no way, in this world, Fisher doesn't have any foundation. The only developed subordinates are Robin, Olvia, the three Hancock sisters and Kara. Six people became members of his family, with the favor I have given them, as long as they work hard. Their strength will definitely improve. However, only a few of them are far from enough. Fisher needs more subordinates and greater strength. Seeing this look in Fisher's eyes for the first time, Robin was slightly taken aback. Immediately, Robin smiled, nodded firmly, and promised loudly. Yes, Brother Fisher, Robin promises to complete the task. Well, it's the best that can be done, and it's okay if it can't be done. Your safety is the most important thing. Fisher nodded gently and urged. Although he wants to form a powerful force, Fisher still cares more about Robin's safety. Immediately, Fisher did not continue to speak, but concentrated on portraying favors to Khalifa Little Alita. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the ability feedback from the power member Khalifa, congratulations to the host for getting the sixth form of the navy. Ajd. The moment he finished drawing Khalifa's favor, a system prompt sounded in Fisher's mind. Is Khalifa better than Menchai? Is Menchai really at the bottom? Hearing the system's prompt, Fisher's expression was slightly strange, but the next moment, Fisher shook off this thought. No, no, Olvia is really at the bottom of those who portray grace. Olvia, are you polite? Okay, Robin. Tell Khalifa about N. Hue's situation, I'll go find Smoker. Pulling down the clothes behind Khalifa, Fisher directed to Robin. Leave it to me, Brother Fisher. Robin replied with a gentle smile. Brother Fisher, thank you. Khalifa who got up waved her hand and shouted with a bright smile on her face. He waved his hand without looking back. As a response, Fisher left the room. Leaving the cabin, Fisher returned to the deck and stood beside Smoker. How's that going? Fisher asked. Smoker, this guy's aptitude is not bad but compared with those future supernovas in this world, he is much worse. From chasing the supernova like a dog at the beginning, to being abused into a dog in the domineering new world two years later, its strength improvement is far behind the supernova's leap speed. Fisher wants to give this guy a favor and give this guy a chance to rival future supernovas. With the assistance of Grace, 
Smog's conditions are absolutely achievable. Let's see if this guy can seize this opportunity. The only chance Fisher gave was this time, and this time he refused. Smoker would never have another chance to portray Grace. Describe it to me. Smoker, who was very arrogant, didn't say much, just took her off his coat, and sat on the deck topless. Correct choice. You won't regret it. Seeing Smoker's appearance, Fisher smiled and said, and then described the favor to Smoker. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the ability feedback from the power member Smoker. Congratulations to the host for getting the Navy Six style shave. Send. You said you also ate a devil fruit. On the great route, Fisher looked at Olvia speechlessly. Well, I ate the superhuman twisted fruit. Olvia said with a smile. Fisher. A few days passed, and Fisher and others came to the great route from the East China Sea, heading towards the direction of Alabaster. For Robin and others who have been traveling at sea for several years, this matter is not a problem at all. However, Today Fisher learned from Olvia such a thing that made Fisher very speechless. That is, Olvia actually had a devil fruit just like Robin. That is to say, now only Khalifa Little Lolita on this ship has not eaten the devil fruit. How dare you? There are three people with devil fruit abilities in January, and the only person who has a fruit is a little Lolita who is a few years old. Aren't you afraid that the ship will be destroyed, and then the whole army will be wiped out? Khalifa, remember, you are not allowed to eat devil fruits. Do you understand? Immediately afterwards, Fisher seriously urged Khalifa. Yeah. Khalifa knows, Sister Olvia and Sister Robin told me that if they fall into the sea, then only I can kill them. The little Lali Khalifa replied very obediently rode. Yeah, that's good. Shell was relieved. Don't worry, how could I do such a thing that leaves no room for a treat? Olvia was not angry when she saw this, and explained it gently. Hey hey hey, Robin SBLCKM Ned aside. It's good that you have a sense of proportion. Fisher didn't want to worry about it too much, and shrugged casually. How far is it to Alabaster? Probably another two days. Yeah, I see. There were only Fisher and Robin on the deck, as for Smoker. He was struggling to be the helmsman in the cabin. At the same time, on the Great Voyage, there are currently two strangely shaped pirate ships that look like butter-coated pirate ships, and they are driving unhurriedly, and the direction of travel is also the direction of Alabaster. And the pirate flag hanging on the two pirate ships is a politely dressed skeleton with pink hair. If Fisher were here, he would be able to recognize the source of the flags on the two pirate ships at first glance. The pirate flag of the Big Mom Pirates of the New World. Seeing that he is also going to Alabaster, the Big Mom Pirates seem to have grasped Fisher's whereabouts and rushed over to Fisher. That big fat pig really wants to capture Fisher back and reproduce. Chapter 85 Olvia's Ability, Wholesale Domineering Your devil fruit ability is to reverse everything in the world and turn it into an existence inside. For example, this bowl of water, can you twist it into a ball of flame? In the cabin, Fisher asked curiously. Well, as long as I have enough physical strength, I can transform. Just like this, Olvia nodded slightly, and then released a spiral-shaped light from her hand that landed on the glass of water on the table. Under the spiral-shaped tray of light, the water in the cup disappeared invisible, replaced by a blazing flame. Then, there was a cracking sound, and the cup shattered into three pieces, and the flames fell onto the table. Seeing this, Fisher hastily stretched out his hand to extinguish the flame. More than that, I can also twist ice cubes into flames. Can turn the enemy's attack into my own defense. Ability to turn self-damage into healing. Tilda. The ability to transform one's thoughts into relative thought thoughts when one's mind is exhausted. However, the ability to reverse thinking is not stable. I only succeeded once, and once reversed, it will be a permanent change and will not change back again. Olvia nodded slightly and explained. At this time, Fisher and others were sitting around a round table and Olvia was telling Fisher about the ability to reverse the fruit of the superhuman devil fruit he had eaten in the past few years. Fisher is quite interested in Olvia's ability. Most of the superhuman fruit abilities are abilities that affect reality, and some powerful superhuman fruits can even involve some rules, and the twisted fruit of the superhuman fruit obtained by Olvia is obviously the high-ranking fruit among the superhuman fruits. As long as the direction of development is correct, the power it can exert will be very terrifying. Listening to Olvia's explanation, the first half was nothing. But at the end, Fisher was shocked. It actually involves the concept ability to reverse thinking. Hearing that Olvia was able to turn ice cubes into flames, Fisher didn't feel anything. Hearing Olvia say that she can turn the enemy's attack into her own defense, Fisher definitely has something interesting. Hearing that Olvia said that she could turn the damage she suffered into healing power to heal her body, Fisher felt that this ability was strange. But hearing the last ability, Fisher was really intimidated. Forcibly and permanently reversing a person's personality and thinking. It is very scary to think about it. Ding. Congratulations to the host for gaining power member Nicololvia. Congratulations to the host for getting the ability feedback from Nicololvia, a member of the faction. And congratulations to the host for getting the power to reverse. Question mark. System, something is wrong with you? 
Didn't you say before that Olvia's qualifications are not as good as Menchai's, so she can't be recognized by you? Why did you suddenly change your mind now? Nicole Olvia gained the power of turning around, her aptitude has improved, and she has already surpassed Menchai, so she has become a member of the host's force. The explanation of the system is very simple, just this sentence. Then it went offline again. This made Fisher a little helpless, so he could only explore the meaning of this by himself. Judging from the operation of the system, a person's qualifications are not necessarily predestined, but can also be improved the day after tomorrow. Just like Colvia, because she ate the twisted fruit, she was judged by the system as a qualification upgrade, surpassed Menchai, and became a member of the faction. It's quite interesting. From this point of view, most of the devil fruit capable users at this time surpassed Menchai and reached the system's approval standard. Interesting, interesting. However, the system guy is really a salty fish. I have to figure out everything by myself, so can't I just publish a system manual? In this way, I don't have to think for myself every time this new feature appears. However, Menchai is so pitiful. He is at the bottom again, Fisher said gloatingly. Forget it, let's use the check-ins of the three people first. The check-ins of Khalifa and Smoker were useless before. The system, Khalifa, Smoker, and Olvia's sign-in are used together. Ding. The sign-in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the intermediate level arm domineering, intermediate level knowledge color domineering, Khalifa special version. Ding. The sign-in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the intermediate level arm domineering, intermediate level knowledge color domineering. Special version for Smoker. Ding. The sign-in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the intermediate level arm domineering, intermediate level knowledge color domineering, Nicole Olvia's special version. Fisher. System, where are you wholesale domineering? Looking at the system's three sign-in rewards, Fisher couldn't help complaining in his heart. Robin was like this before, and now Carly is like this. However, the rewards for the three Hancock sisters and the four Curler were different. Then Fisher figured it out. Zero. Fisher asked Robin to help him establish a powerful force after he left. In this case, Robin will inevitably travel around the world, and the new world will also inevitably go. It is difficult to move an inch without domineering in that place. With intermediate level arm domineering and knowledge color domineering Robin and others can mix well anywhere. What's more, domineering is the hard currency in the world of One Piece. Here, if you want to deal with people with natural fruit abilities, you need to master domineering. Otherwise you can only be beaten. In Olvia's situation, once she goes to the new world, she will be exposed. She will definitely be hunted down by the world government, and the navy will definitely take action. At that time, she will face the three high-ranking nature type fruit capable users of the navy. It is also inevitable. So this reward is really reasonable for the three of Khalifa, and it meets the current needs of Robin and others. Like Olvia and Khalifa, if they continue to practice step by step, I don't know how long it will take to succeed in cultivation and reach the intermediate level. What an incredible fruit ability. Olvia, let's develop it well. The upper limit of this fruit is extremely high. If you develop it to the limit, you may be able to deal with even an admiral. After analyzing the system's approach, Fisher said to Olvia gently. Well, I will develop it well. Olvia promised with a gentle smile. Before that, Olvia, Khalifa, you two come here, I'll give you something. Fisher nodded, and then shouted to the two of them with both hands. Olvia, Khalifa, brother Fisher, you mean Robin. On the other hand, became excited when he heard Fisher's words, because that's what Fisher said at the beginning, and then she got the intermediate level arm domineering and intermediate level knowledge domineering. And seeing Robin so excited, both Olvia and Khalifa knew it was a good thing, so they came over directly. Fisher directly reached out and pressed the forwards of the two, and sent the system rewards for signing into the bodies of the two. Intermediate arm domineering, intermediate knowledge domineering, in the world of pirates, few people have cultivated to this point, they are a very strong force. Yugi's take care of it. Looking at the two people who were stunned, Fisher said lightly, and then left here. He was going to send Smoker's reward as well, and then think about the spoon of twisting power he just got. Dot. Chapter 86 Fruit Development, Encounter How can such a thing be done? Fisher, are you a god? Feeling the soaring domineering power in his body and various domineering skills, Smoker's jaw dropped in shock, and the cigar he had been holding in his mouth fell to the ground without a trace. Noticed. He has never heard of someone in the world who can instantly acquire such a large amount of domineering in a person's body, and even allow a person to master so many domineering skills. This method can already be regarded as a god in the legend. It doesn't hurt to follow me, just work hard, and one day you will be able to reach the top ranks of the world's top powerhouses. Facing Smoker's shock, Fisher was very indifferent, and after patting Smoker on the shoulder, Fisher left the cockpit and went back to his room. Twisting fruit, this is the second superhuman fruit obtained by Fisher 653 and it is also the first feedback fruit ability obtained by Fisher. Both Robin and Smoker, Fisher have no feedback on the fruit ability. Regarding the three fruit abilities on her body, Fisher will not neglect any of them. For ordinary people, too much can be chewed, too much but not refined.
But this is not the case for Fisher. The ability to increase by 10 times gave Fisher enough energy to develop these three fruit abilities. It was nothing more than a little slower. Even if there is another fruit ability, Fisher can bear it. Just like the sweet fruit rewarded by the system not long ago. Standing on the shoulders of giants, Fisher has already developed a good move. Sweet fruit's charm ability and petrification power Fisher have both been developed. The power of petrification has already developed a lot of power. And the charm ability, the charm power developed by the sweet fruit is displayed on women, that is, the simple and direct charm, the power of temptation, can charm some weak-minded people, regardless of the enemy or us, reverse their minds and become themselves licking dog. But this ability is worse in men, it just makes people feel good, except for enemies, of course. You can tell by seeing how Khalifa has been pestering her frequently these days. It wasn't long before Fisher met this little Lily, and he made this little Lily so close to him, all because of the charm of the sweet fruit. As for the effect on boys, it can also be seen from Smoker's body these days. From his character of not talking much at the beginning, this guy now talks to and communicates with Fisher frequently. He completely regards Fisher as a close friend who has known him for many years. This is the charm that Fisher has developed in the past half a month. If it were someone else, it would take at least a year and a half to reach this level. And now, with the ability to twist the fruit, Fisher doesn't want to leave it for ashes. What's more, this ability is a high-level fruit ability, and it is no worse than high-level natural fruits such as thunder fruit when developed to the limit. Just reversing the nature of the attack intrigued Fisher. Just imagine, when fighting with Okiji, when it releases the freezing attack, my twisting power falls on it, directly turning the freezing attack it sends out into flames. How interesting that scene would be. Moreover, when it is elemental, it will also come, and the frozen body will directly turn into a flame body, which is probably enough for him to drink a pot. However, this is the first time it has worked, because once the trick is hit, the opponent will take precautions, beware of the twisting force approaching. So Fisher's idea now is to develop the twisting force into an invisible state. There is no shadow, no form and invisible twisting power, even if you are on guard, it will be of no avail. Of course, this is just Fisher's goal. Fisher is not sure whether the ability to reverse the release of the fruit can be developed into an invisible force. Moreover, Fisher is very interested in what Olvia said about turning damage into healing, turning the power of attack into one's own defense, and finally turning a person's thinking. Especially the last one, which reverses a person's thinking and character. Just imagine, in the battle, you release the force of twisting, directly twisting the enemy's thinking and character turning into one of your own, what will happen in that situation? The hostile side is expected to bomb. Speaking of this, the charming power of the sweet fruit is similar to the twisting power in some respects. For the next two days, apart from chatting with Robin and the others, Fisher spent the rest of his time developing the twisting force. And the ships of Fisher and others are also advancing steadily towards Alabastu along the magnetic field route of the Great Root. On the third morning, Fisher and others finally arrived in this desert country. Brother Fisher, are you sure that this place has a historical text? Robin, who was sitting on a desert camel and covered in desert armor, asked Fisher behind him. By the way, Fisher, Robin, Olvia, and Khalifa entered Alabasta this time, and only Smoker, the big bastard, was guarding their ship at this time. After all, the ship is moored at the ferry, so there must be a watchman anyway and this burden naturally falls on Smoker. Smoker didn't bother to enter Alabaster, so the two hit it off, and the four of them only rode two camels, one for Fisher and Robin, and one for Olvia and Khalifa. Well, in the lower burial hall of the royal family of Alabaster, there is a historical text that records Hades. Let's visit the king of Alabaster now and let him show you around. Fisher nodded and explained. Fisher, Robin and I are both wanted persons now. King 5.8 of Alabaster would be fine if he didn't report us to the navy. How could he take us to the historical text? Olvia said worriedly. Don't worry, the king of Alabaster is not that pedantic, Fisher said lightly, which was very suitable for execution. Seeing Fisher's attitude, Olvia didn't ask again. Anyway, with their strength, even if the king of Alabaster attacked them, they would not be afraid. Um, at the same time, in the kingdom of Alabaster, at the rapeseed flower port, two huge cake boats slowly sailed into the port. In the distance, Smoker, who was guarding the ship, looked solemnly at the two cake ships in the distance, frowning. Why would a guy from the New World show up here? Chapter 87 Attack of the Big Mom Pirates Big Mom Pirates Why do the pirates from the New World appear on the Great Root? Standing on the bow, Smoker stared solemnly at the two cake-shaped pirate ships that had just sailed into Rapeseed Flower Port. The pirate ship of the Big Mom Pirates is very distinctive, and it is passed down in one continuous line. As long as it is wandering in the sea, anyone with a little common sense can recognize it. Smoker is no exception. At the same time, the garrison personnel at Rapeseed Flower Port and Alabaster also discovered this report, after receiving the report from his subordinates, Cobra, who was far away in the palace of Albana, also changed his expression wildly. As one of the countries that joined the world government, Cobra naturally knew the cruelty of the big mom pirates. 
The appearance of the ships of the Big Mom Pirates here is obviously not a good thing, there is no doubt about it. Sitting on a throne in the palace hall, Cobra showed a sad face and kept rubbing his forehead. No matter what level the characters who come in 09 this time are in the Big Mom Pirates, they are not good for Alabaster. Cobra didn't even know how to deal with it, because he didn't know what the members of the Big Mom Pirates were here for, and he didn't hear any news before that. However, even so, what should be faced is still to be faced and Cobra prepared to call the ministers to discuss the appearance of the Big Mom Pirates in Alabaster. However, before his convening order was issued, the phone call of the previous reporter was broadcast again. Your Majesty Cobra, the members of the Yinma Pirates are fighting with someone. Hearing this report, Cobra was shocked and stood up directly from the throne. What did you say? At this time, in the rapeseed flower port, the leader of the garrison personnel was holding a phone bug, and was stunned to watch Smoker fighting on the street and the long-legged woman holding a long sword. Charlotte Smoothie, what are you trying to do? After another collision, Smoker roared loudly while pointing at the opposite enemy with ten fingers. This guy, as soon as he appeared in the rapeseed flower port, sent a huge slash at himself. If he hadn't had quick eyesight and quick hands, he released a powerful attack in time to counteract the slash, and their ship would have been lost. At the same time, Smoker was very happy in his heart. If Fisher hadn't increased the domineering energy in his body two days ago, he really couldn't resist that slash just now. That kind of slash is also very powerful among swordsmen, and it is not something he can deal with. The person standing opposite Smoker was very tall, far above ordinary people, wearing a hat and scarf, long white hair reaching his legs, and covering one eye. Wearing a pair of gloves, there are long-legged tattoos on the legs, a long sword with a spiral scabbard on its back, and a pair of pink boots with patterns. It is one of the future three generals of the Charlotte family, no, maybe it is already a general now, after all. The strength is already very strong. And not far away, on the pirate ship of the Big Mom Pirates in the port, there is a more powerful existence watching here. It made Smoker very anxious. Smoker knew that he was definitely not an opponent of these people, but Charlotte Smoothie couldn't deal with it by himself. Smoker wanted to take out the phone bug and inform Fisher and others, but Charlotte Smoothie was staring at him right now, so Smoker didn't dare to take out the phone bug at will, for fear of being destroyed. Smoker was ready to create a suitable opportunity. However, Smoothie on the opposite side seemed to see Smoker's plan and said something unexpected to Smoker. Hey, hurry up and tell Fisher to come over, or I'll kill you right now. This guy, the purpose is Fisher. Smoker heard the words, his heart was shocked and he was extremely surprised. However, since Smoothie gave himself this opportunity, Smoker naturally would not refuse it, directly took out the phone bug from his coat, and made contact. He believes that when Fisher and the others come back, they can join forces to deal with the big mom pirates. At the same time, on the other side, Fisher and others, who had been driving round all the time, had successfully arrived in a city. Is it rainy? I remember that this is Crocodile's base camp. I don't know if this sand crocodile has come to Alabaster now. If not, this trip would be in vain. Walking on the rainy street, Fisher glanced at the surrounding situation, thinking silently. When he came to Alabaster, besides bringing two historians, Robin and Olvia, to find historical texts, Fisher's purpose was to fight Crocodile. Not long after his debut, this guy was able to tie with that guy, Devil Douglas and his strength should not be underestimated. Don't look at Crocodile being defeated by a fledgling kid from Luffy in the original book. That's completely a plot kill, just like in Halo in Sky Island 817. Without the protagonist's halo, Luffy would definitely be instantly killed by the two of them. After all, Crocodile is a guy who can fight sea hooligans, Hawkeye, and even dare to shoot at K. Aina in the top wall. Blue 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 brew. While Fisher was scanning the surroundings, a voice from the phone rang from Lee Sylvia's body. Mossy, this is Olvia, Smoker. What happened? Olvia took out the phone bug from under her white cloak and answered it. Olvia, come back quickly. The big mom pirates from the new world have appeared at the port. The purpose is Fisher. If you don't come back, our ship will be gone. Smoker also explained concisely and directly, after finishing speaking. He hung up the phone directly. Fisher, what should I do? Olvia looked at Fisher and asked Fisher. Several people heard the voice of the phone bug. Big mom, why did that guy's people come here, and not for me? Although Fisher was puzzled, he still made a decision. Let's go. Let's go back. Come here, all of you, and put your hands on me. Chapter 88 Assignment, Disappointed Fisher. Hey, although I don't know why the two generals of the Big Mom Pirates appeared in Alabaster, but judging from the current situation, it's not in vain for me to come here. On the boat of Fisher and others, in the watchtower, Fisher stood by the window, looking at Smoker who was fighting back and forth with Smoothie on Harbor Street, and murmured in a low voice. This time I came here to see if this guy Crocodile is here, and if so. I will fight with this guy to improve N. Hue's ability value. Now, even if Crocodile is not here, it is not in vain for me to come here. After all, this Charlotte Cracker guy is here. Robin, Olvia, Khalifa, go and deal with the pirates on that ship. Fisher glanced at Smoothie's pirate ship, 
and ordered Robin and the three of them. Robin's strength is comparable to that of the Rear Admiral of the Navy Headquarters. Olvia's strength has also greatly improved after obtaining the Intermediate Armed Color and Knowledge Color. A few days ago, she fought with Robin, and they were evenly matched. In terms of fruit ability, Olvia is stronger than Liu Oshis. As for Khalifa, although she is too young, she still needs to see the flames of war, otherwise she will be a flower in a greenhouse. Under the care of Olvia, Robin started to venture into the sea at the age of seven or eight, and he grew up in the same way. Now with the joint care of Robin and Olvia, if Khalifa can't grow up, it will really be a waste of the favor and arrogance that Fisher gave her. I see, Brother Fisher. Understood, Brother Fisher, look at mine. Leave it to me, Fisher. The three responded separately, and then they left the watchtower and headed straight for Smoothie's boat. Hey, you guys, hurry up and help me. Diarisis apostrophe. As soon as they left the boat, Smoker noticed the three of them, and Smoker, who was suppressed by Smoothie, yelled loudly stand up. You are really useless, Smoker, this guy is about the same age as you, and you have been suppressed like this. Robin covered his mouth and smiled lightly, then ignored Smoker, talked with Olvia and Khalifa and the three rushed to Smoothie's boat. Don't even think about it. Smoothie, who was dealing with Smoker, saw the purpose of Robin and the others, his eyes froze immediately and the long sword that was attacking Smoker in his hand slashed at Robin and the others. However, the next moment, a figure flashed away, and Smoothie shot out like a cannonball, smashing through more than a dozen houses and entering the port city. Fisher, Smoker breathed a sigh of relief, looked at Fisher and shouted, That guy will be handed over to you. If you want to quickly increase the value of Inhui's ability, fighting with a strong is the best way. Fisher looked at Smoker and urged, Smoker, who originally wanted Fisher to let Robin and Olvia stay to help him, was taken aback when he heard Fisher's words, and then became firm. I see, leave this guy to me, he solemnly assured Fisher, and Smoker turned into a cloud of smoke and rushed towards the direction Smoker was knocked into the air. This fellow Smoker, his natural capital is not as good as others, what should he do if he doesn't work hard? Just like now, about the same age as Smoothie, but the two sides were suppressed throughout the battle. If you don't have enough talent, then try your best to make it up. If you don't work hard yourself, then you can't blame others. This guy is now the strongest in his power in one piece. After obtaining the middle level armed color and knowledge color, even Robin is no match for him. Naturally, the experience pack Fisher of Smoothie is given to him. It is also unrealistic to put Robin or Olvia on top. Shaking his head, Fisher looked at his experience bag. Charlotte Cracker's ship, the huge biscuit general was sitting on the deck with a big sword, and didn't care about Robin, Olvia and others rushing towards Smoothie. His lifelike eyes were always fixed on Fisher. After seeing Fisher's gaze on himself, General Biscuit said, as expected of an existence that can escape unscathed after attacking Mary Jaiwa, enough to be our father. Fisher, who was thinking about what Cracker would say, was taken aback when he heard this sentence. The next moment, the corners of Fisher's mouth twitched slightly. Father? So it looks like that big mom is after me? Want me to be her new husband? It's really speechless, how old am I, and I'm still missed by people. Taking a deep breath, Fisher forcibly calmed down the horror in his heart and shook off the figure of Big Mom that appeared in his mind. Fisher wouldn't mind if it was an aunt when she was young, but it would be fine if she was an aunt at this age. Thank you so much. This big cart can't pull it by itself. Opening his eyes again, Fisher's pupils darkened, and a faint light flickered. Vertical bar cracker, use your strength, or I will kill you. With an indifferent expression, Fisher reminded the cracker. You don't need to tell me that this general will do his best. Charlotte's voice came from General Biscuit. Just kidding, in the face of such a sudden attack on Marie Jaiwa and all, Nuro Di Hao retreated, how dare he underestimate it. As soon as the words fell, Cracker controlled Biscuit General and rushed over, exclamation mark. However, in less than two seconds, General Biscuit's huge body collapsed and shot back at a faster speed, exposing the body inside the Cracker. I told you to do your best, so you just create such a Biscuit General to deal with me? And there are so many flaws exposed, isn't it too underestimating the enemy? Looking at the Cracker flying out of the broken Biscuit General, with white eyes and blood spitting out of the mouth. Fisher shook his head helplessly, with disappointment in his eyes. A biscuit general, it's okay to deal with Luffy, but it's still too tender to deal with himself. A overlord coil directly destroys biscuit general and hits the cracker hiding inside. Dot. Chapter 89, Immature Thoughts, Turning the Power of Merit. But at this time, seeing the cracker being dispatched, many members of the Big Mom pirates who had just cheered saw the scene, and the cheers froze, and they were all stunned. Even the pirates on Smoothie's ship, even Homies, Kaido stunned Wang Lufi with a stick. I can't beat a general with a punch. Looking at the cracker that smashed the ground into a huge deep hole, Fisher rubbed his chin and murmured. Immediately, Fisher's eyes fell on Cracker's boat. As soon as his eyes were fixed, a powerful domineering arrogance erupted, covering Cracker's boat in an instant. The pirates on the ship fell down one by one like dominoes. There are only a few pirates who are still strong enough to resist Fisher's domineering look, and they are all looking at Fisher in horror. 
With a wave of his hand, Fisher directly killed them all, and several thick thunderbolts descended in an instant, covering the bodies of these survivors. These guys just let out a scream, and then fell to the ground covered in scorched black smoke and 247 black smoke from their mouths, not even having a chance to resist Fisher's attack. But yes, although these guys are considered the best among minions in the new world, they are not strong, and in the eyes of Fisher's level, they are just cannon fodder. If it takes Fisher's time to deal with these guys, then Fisher's strength is too weak. After cleaning up the pirates on the cracker boat, Fisher didn't do anything, but sat beside the cracker and waited quietly, which made the pirates on the smoothie boat heave a sigh of relief. However, immediately the three of Robin boarded the ship, and these pirates had to fight back in order to protect themselves, and a three volts battle started directly. During this period, the big mom pirates hadn't really developed yet. Although Jiang Xing already has a good look, Legia's strength has also been finalized, but Smoothie's strength has not yet reached its peak, not at the level of a general, and the strength of the subordinates he leads is not too strong, and there is still some distance from the pirates on the cracker ship. After Smoker obtained the middle level armed color and knowledge color, his strength has reached the level of an ordinary lieutenant general of the navy headquarters, while Smoker, who suppressed Smoker, is an elite lieutenant general of the navy headquarters. The strongest subordinates he leads will not reach Smoker's level, although the number is pitifully small. With the strength of the three of Robin, there is no danger in dealing with them, it is just a little difficult. However, for the three people who have favor, this kind of battle is the most suitable for them. Only when you move forward under pressure, the feedback of favors when you update them later will make your strength stronger. Well, what should I do with this guy? Kill him now. Looking at the unconscious cracker under his feet, Fisher rubbed his chin and thought. He now has a very immature idea. That is, let Ovia come over and try to see if he can reverse this guy's thinking and directly turn him into his subordinate. If it is possible, Robin and the others will have a stronger guarantee when he leaves this world in half a month. Don't look at the cracker guy who was instantly killed by him with a single punch, but this guy's strength is not inferior to a pirate at the level of Dolph Flamingo. Even the current trio of the Navy's natural department can fight against each other. As soon as he thought of it, Fisher called Ovia who was fighting with one of the carders of the Big Mom Pirates and chopped off the two carders, Ajkch, who were fighting with him, so as to save this guy from fighting with other carders. Together against Robin and Khalifa. Fisher, what did you call me here at this time? Olvia asked anxiously when she came to Fisher's side. There are too many people on Robin's side, and it's better to share it with yourself. If you don't share it with yourself, then almost all the pressure falls on Robin. As a mother, she is naturally very worried. Use the power of twisting a person's mind that you said before on this guy to see if you can twist his mind and become my subordinate. Fisher ordered directly without procrastinating. Hearing this, Olvia was slightly taken aback. Then her eyes lit up, and she understood what Fisher meant, and directly released the twisting force that she had just cultivated and hadn't used too many times. The spiral-shaped light covered Cracker's body, only a flash of brilliance and then there was no change, it's gone. Fisher looked at the unchanging cracker on the ground, and asked with some doubts. We won't know if it works until he wakes up. Olvia nodded and explained. Immediately, Olvia left her directly and rushed towards the place where Robin and the two were. So that's the case, since this is the case, let me treat this guy's injuries first. Fisher nodded suddenly, and then prepared to treat the crackers, not all of them. Just let this guy wake up and see if Olvia's ability works. Fisher didn't want to waste time. With a thought, the healing fell on the cracker and covered his whole body. N the healing system, covered his whole body, and the punch marks on Cracker's body that were dried by Fisher's punch were visible to the naked eye. However, within three seconds, Fisher stopped treating and the fist print was only half restored. Still, it was enough to wake up the Cracker guy. The Cracker who had just woken up was obviously a little confused, his eyes were erratic, and he looked like his head had been smashed. However, after noticing Fisher sitting next to him, Cracker became agitated. Seeing this, Fisher frowned slightly, failed. However, the next moment, the opening of the cracker let Xiu dispel this idea. Master Fisher. I saw Cracker struggling excitedly and trying to do it, shouting to Fisher. SHH, it looks like it worked. Since this is the case, then heal you and portray in a Hui. Chapter 90 Ability to Squeeze Fruit. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a new faction member, and you will get a sign in reward once. May I ask the host if you have signed in? Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the ability feedback from Charlotte Cracker, a member of the faction and congratulations to the host for getting the mid-level knowledgeable domineering. Are the middle-level knowledgeable and domineering? Nice ability. Before rescuing Hancock, I was rewarded with an intermediate level arm color. After taking Hancock as a member of a faction, I got a high-level overlord color. Now I have obtained an intermediate level knowledge color. My domineering is very powerful in this world. Feeling watching the change of domineering in the body, Fisher Aero Reed. System. Sign in. Ding. Sign in successfully. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the high-level arm domineering. 
High-Level Knowledge Color Domineering, Charlotte K. Ligia Special Edition. Advanced, it seems that Charlotte Cracker's armor color and knowledge color haven't reached this level, otherwise the system wouldn't give, this kind of reward. Immediately, Fisher gave the check-in reward directly to Charlotte Cracker. This immediately shocked Charlotte Cracker, who directly regarded Fisher as a god. Advanced armed color and advanced knowledge color, plus the strength of the Cracker itself. This guy should be comparable to an admiral, with him here, Robin and the others will be safer. Ah, uh, not necessarily, I have turned this guy against me. That guy, aunt, is probably going to explode. Probably going after Cracker. Otherwise, Cracker goes back to work as an undercover agent. Fisher rubbed his chin and thought while looking at Cracker beside him who regarded himself as a god. Let this guy go back to be an undercover agent, and Robin and the others will call him out to help when they need it. It should be fine. I just don't know if this guy will be punished by the aunt if he didn't complete the mission he was sent out this time. Well, forget it, let's try it. As one of the generals, even if you don't complete the mission, Big Mom probably won't really do anything to the Cracker. After all, the Cracker is also a good combat power. Thinking of this, Shell gave an order directly to the Cracker. This subordinate understands. Cracker naturally could not disobey Fisher's order, so he complied directly. The next situation is very simple. Although the battle was very difficult, the three of Robin still killed more than half of the pirates on Cracker's ship, and Cracker took care of the rest by himself. But Smoker's side looked different. The battle was very difficult. Smoker's whole body was beaten up by Smoothie, his nose was bruised, his body was covered with wounds, and he was in danger. He looked tenacious and unyielding, and seemed to want to fight on. However, Fisher wouldn't just watch this guy die. After the Cracker killed all the pirates he brought, Fisher punched Smoothie unconscious. Olvia, try again. Looking at the fainted Smoothie, Fisher ordered to Olvia. Olvia is also very looking forward to this, because she has successfully reversed Cracker's thinking just now, and now she has one more test subject, she is eager for it. The twisting power fell on Smoothie, followed by Fisher's healing power. Olvia, tell me, will it succeed this time? Sal asked Olvia while he was being treated. I don't know, but I hope to succeed, Olvia said with a smile eyes full of expectation. Master Fisher, after treating Smoothie to the point of waking up, Fisher and others waited for a satisfactory answer. The chances are really high. What a former ability. Looking at Smoothie's respectful look, Fisher squinted his eyes and said, perhaps you can use this power to fulfill your orders, Brother Fisher. Robin said with a smile on the side, his eyes sparkling. This can be considered. Olvia nodded in agreement. It's up to you to decide, Fisher said lightly, and then stopped talking, showing favor to Smoothie. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a new faction member. Get a sign-in reward once. May I ask the host to sign in? Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the ability feedback from member Charlotte Smoothie. Congratulations to the host for getting the power to squeeze fruit. Ability to squeeze fruit. Not bad. Squeezing the fruit. The ability to develop this thing is still very good. What Fisher values most is its ability to extract harmful substances from its own body. Just like in the original book. Smoothie squeezes out the toxins in the body. This fruit ability is of great use to Fisher. With the ability to squeeze fruit, once any unfavorable forces invaded his body, Fisher could use this ability to squeeze out these unfavorable forces. This ability is very suitable for dealing with those weird forces that invade a person's body without a sound. Just like the Dark Continent, the strangeness of that place is even more frightening than the Secret Realm, and it is hard to guard against. Even if some bad existence invades the body, you may not feel it. Just like some conceptual creatures, even if you feel it, there are times when there is nothing you can do about it. And the ability to squeeze fruit is very effective against this kind of power. All in all, Fisher is very satisfied with this ability, so the look at Smoothie is much gentler than that of a cracker system. Sign-in. Ding. The sign-in is successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the awakening of squeezed fruit. Charlotte Smoothie special version. Is the fruit awakened? It's interesting, but I don't know what will happen when I wake up. Muttering in his heart, Fisher reached out and pressed Smoothie's forehead on the ground, giving the system reward to Smoothie. Hey, Fisher, at least you heal me. Smoker, who had no one caring about him, couldn't bear it anymore and roared loudly. Yes, yes, here we go. Chapter 91 Return. Vitality Tree. I'm back. I've gained a lot this time. With a flash of white light, Fisher appeared at Kukalu Mountain's home, stretched and said to himself, after ordering Cracker and Smoothie to go back to work as undercover agents, Fisher and the others stayed in Alabaster for a few days and left after reading the history of Alabaster's funeral hall, King Cobra of Stan. Afterwards, after half a month of calm sailing on the sea, Fisher left the world of One Piece and returned to the world of Hunter x Hunter due to the time limit of the system. This time, the harvest of going to One Piece World is the richest. High level overlord color, intermediate armed color, intermediate knowledge color, twisting fruit ability, sweet fruit ability, squeezing fruit ability, and even favor have all been upgraded by one level, and their own strength is already comparable to that of an admiral in the world of One Piece. 
My current strengths should be comparable to the 3157 guards of the Ant King. Rubbing his chin, Fisher said to himself, Host, Fisher Zoldig, Abilities, Conjurin, Thunder, Conjurin, Life, Magic, Flicker, God's Grace, Tenfold Amplification, Broken Divinity, Thunder, Three Color Domineering, Thunder Fruit Ability, Reverse Fruit Ability, Squeeze Fruit Ability. Dot. Props, Natural Teeth. Well, this system panel is finally richer and it's no longer as simple as before. Looking at the property panel of a system, Fisher is very satisfied, and finally it is no longer as poor as before. Immediately, Shell took out his mobile phone from the bedside table. R, it's been a month, and the phone is still turned off. I thought you could still be strong after a month, but it seems that you can't either. Fisher sighed as he looked at the phone that hadn't moved in his hand. Immediately, Fisher charged the two mobile phones, and then left the bedroom. After leaving for a month, I don't know how the abilities of Gailu and Crook are developing. And how is the cultivation of the vitality tree going? Crook is a plant expert, and he specializes in super ancient plants, so it shouldn't be a problem. Walking in the corridor, Fisher muttered to himself. Fisher himself does not need the fruit of the vitality tree, because Fisher's own energy is rapidly improving all the time. But this thing means a lot to the Zoldyk family. As long as they can be cultivated and then figure out how to expand the number, it will bring great benefits to the Zoldyk family and increase their strength. If there is a steady supply of vitality tree fruits, then the strength of the members of the Zoldyk family will increase explosively. At that time, it will be no problem for everyone to have Nianki cultivation at the level of the Ant King's personal guards. I get a little excited just thinking about it. Huh, Fisher? When did you come back? At this moment, a figure suddenly appeared at the corner of the corridor. It was Grandpa Gino. After seeing Fisher, Gino was a little surprised. It was just an accident. Gino knew that Fisher has the space element and magic flickering, and he is elusive and he will not be surprised when he goes out and when he comes back. Just came back. Grandpa. Did you just go out to complete the mission? Fisher nodded, then noticed the slight murderous look on Gino's body, and asked curiously. Well, I went to complete a task, and I got a little angry. Gino nodded and replied, then turned and walked forward. However, after walking a few steps, Gino -O stopped and said without turning his head, By the way, the tree that one of the twelve earthly branches brought back by your boy has been researched and cultivated, you can go to have a look. After speaking, he left again. Hearing this, Fisher was overjoyed. Unexpectedly, Crook actually cultivated the vitality tree in a month. He is indeed an expert. With excitement, Fisher quickened his pace and rushed towards the research institute of the Zoldyk family. Soon, Fisher rushed to the research institute, and then grabbed a research-oriented butler and asked about Crook's location. Lord Fisher, Lord Crook has gone to the botanical garden. The butler replied respectfully. I see, go get busy. Fisher nodded, then turned and left. I was really overwhelmed by the excitement. Now that it has been cultivated, it will naturally be planted in the botanical garden. On the way, Fisher was speechless about his impulsiveness, and laughed at himself. Less than ten minutes away, Fisher appeared in the botanical garden in Kukushan. As soon as he arrived at the botanical garden, Fisher directly spread the circle out. The botanical garden of the Zoldyk family is very large. Even if Fisher spreads the circle to the extreme, he can't get a glimpse of the whole picture, so he can only use the circle to find it while walking. Soon Fisher found Crook's location and rushed there directly. Hey, Fisher, you're here. In front of a towering tree, Crook was recording something with a pen and paper. Crook was also aware of Fisher's arrival, and didn't feel surprised at all. He was still writing on the paper. It was recorded, and said without raising his head. It was regarded as a greeting. Is this the vitality tree? It's so big. Fisher came to Crook's side and said with emotion. The seeds are so big. The tree will naturally not be small. However, Fisher, thanks to the immortal body essence you gave me, otherwise I really wouldn't be able to cultivate this guy. You don't know, this guy sucked my vitality for half a month before he recovered. Afterwards, I planted it here and sucked my life force for ten days to grow like this. Putting the paper in his hand on the pile of paper. Crook said to Fisher both with emotion and complaint. Thank you for your hard work. Fisher couldn't help but smile when he heard that, and then thanked him. Ah, it's not hard. I feel a sense of accomplishment to be able to breed this extinct species. Crook shook his head and said with a smile. Oh, by the way, the vitality tree should bear fruit in half a month. According to my estimation, the first fruiting effect of the vitality tree will be the best, and it can produce 30 vitality fruits each time. So fast. Well, after all, it has absorbed my vitality for so many days so it is normal to grow fast. Next, he will continuously absorb the chi of the earth veins, transform it into vitality, and finally bear fruit. Crook nodded, and then explained. Absorb the air of the ley lines? That won't turn Kukalu Mountain into a barren land. Mentioning this, Fisher was worried. If this is the case, then Fisher will have to consider whether to transplant this big guy to another place. 
Don't worry, what this guy absorbs is the gas from the lava in the volcano. It won't affect this land. On the contrary, it will appease the extinct volcano of Kulu Mountain so that it will never erupt. It kills two birds with one stone. Kluke naturally knew what Fisher was worried about, and explained with a smile. Hey, that's pretty cool. By the way, how often does the vitality tree bear fruit? There is enough molten gas, once a month! Exclamation mark. Chapter 92 Developing Noon Why are you looking for Molo? Nitero asked with a delicate expression when he heard the voice on the phone in the office of the president of the Hunter Association headquarters. No, it's not really looking for him, it's mainly looking for his apprentice to take Kulu. On the side of Kukalu Mountain, Fisher explained lightly. Fisher wants to know how much his Nchi value is now, and wants to develop and that can detect the cultivation level of Nchi. He should be the best at this aspect, so Fisher is going to find this guy. Learn from. After all. This guy seems to be the only Nin Hunter X Hunter who has digitized Nkai. If you succeed in learning from him, you can save yourself a lot of time. Okay, I'll send you Mo Lao Wu's phone number, and you can find him yourself. Nitero was a little surprised, but still sent Mo Lao Wu's phone number to Fisher. Hello, this is Mo Lao Wu, who is 09. After dialing the number Nitero sent him, a rough and steady voice came from inside. Mr. Mo, I was introduced by Nitero. My name is Fisher. If you need anything, please, Fisher said flatly straight to the point. Old man? I didn't expect the old man to be so familiar with the Zoldyk family, that he would recommend me to you. The official meeting place was a small city by the sea, and Mo Lao Wu's location was in a small restaurant. After seeing Fisher, Mo Lao was obviously very surprised. To be precise, I approached Neat Tero and asked him for your contact information. Fisher smiled and explained. Well, it's all the same. I heard from the old man that you want to find my apprentice to take the cool kill. Mo Lao waved his hand casually, very casually as if he didn't care about the identity of the Fisher's old family at all. Well, I'd like to develop and that can probe and materialize thoughts into numbers. Your disciple took Kuluzen in the sky and didn't know that it was related to this aspect, so I wanted to talk to him. Of course, it's not free, I'll give you a reward. Fisher nodded slightly and said, the reward is unnecessary. Since the old man treats you very well, you should be different from the rest of the Zoldyk family. I will trust you. However, let's talk about that guy Kulu. If you want him to help you, then you must find him. He is now in this city, hiding in a certain corner. It's up to you to find him. Seeing Fisher being so frank, Mola was also a little surprised, and then told him, Hide and seek, I'm pretty good at it. Hearing this, Fisher said with a faint smile. The next moment, the terrifying thoughts erupted instantly and spread out in all directions. Feeling the terrifying thoughts on Fisher from the front, Mola stood on the spot in a daze, with a drop of cold sweat involuntarily breaking out on his face, staring at Fisher blankly, without saying a word. Mr. Mo Lao Wu, then I will excuse you first. Fisher stood up, said goodbye politely, and then left the small restaurant. It wasn't until Fisher left here that Mo Lao Wu came back to his senses. At this moment, Mo Lao Wu broke out in a lot of cold sweat. What a terrifying thought energy. At the same time, in a residential house more than a thousand meters away, Mo Lao's apprentice, Naku Luan, was leaning against a window at this moment, trembling all over, and his face was covered in sweat. In fact, he already knew about Fisher's request for help from Mo Lao Wu, and he didn't refuse for the sake of his master Nitero. But he set such a condition for Fisher, that is to find him by playing hide and seek in this city, and he will only help if he is found. But unexpectedly, such a terrifying existence would appear in this city. This breath, just sensing it made him dare not take any action. Master should have sensed it too. Nakalu thought in horror. However, at the next moment, Nakalan felt his eyes go dark, and then a not so tall figure appeared in his sight. At this moment, the air holes in Nakulan's body were enlarged to the extreme. But even so, the air in Nakulun's body was very calm. No, it was silence. The chi in Nakulu's body became silent, Nakulu's heart was very clear. He didn't dare to do anything, so even the chi in his body followed the owner's heart and quieted down. Yo, Nakulun, I'm here to find you. Seeing Nakalu in front of him, Fisher greeted lightly and put away his breath. Um, are you alright? After greeting, Fisher blinked at the sweat in Nakulun, a little dazed. What's wrong with this guy? Why did he show such a frightened expression? Huh? Hearing Fisher's words, 287 was taken aback by Kulu. Huh? Question mark. I didn't expect that it was a terrifying powerhouse like you who asked me for help. It's really my honor. Standing in front of Fisher, he said seriously with a cool look. At this time, he had withdrawn from the state of panic, and after knowing that the owner of the terrifying aura was Fisher, the person who came to him for help, Nakalu was no longer afraid. Instead, respect for the strong. Um, don't do that. This time I came to ask you to help develop and you are so respectful. So I don't know what to do. Fisher waved his hand and said helplessly. Don't worry, I will definitely help you develop and with all my strength. 
Your Excellency Fisher, hearing this, Nakalu patted his chest and promised firmly, for Nakalun, it is a great honor to befriend Fisher, a terrifying existence that scares him to the point of losing his will to fight just by his breath. Now that Fisher wants to help himself, he will naturally spare no effort to help. Then I'll leave it to you, Fisher nodded, asking in a polite tone. Dot. Chapter 93rd Huge Mind Energy Value, Distribution of Vitality Fruit Perhaps in Nakalu's view, it is an honor for him to be able to help a powerhouse of Fisher's level. So when Fisher asked to know his experience in developing the world, this guy almost shared everything, revealing his own whimsy and experience in developing this ability. And Fisher's ability to accept and learn is also very strong, so in just one month, Fisher successfully developed than he wanted. Looking at the mobile phone in Fisher's hand and the value displayed on the screen of the mobile phone, Nakulin couldn't help swallowing. 1,020,001.02 1 million thoughts, this is the result of Fisher's test just now. More than 1 million. My mind energy is only 20,000 to 30,000, and my master Mo Lao is less than 100,000. But the young man beside him has a million thoughts. Even Chairman Nitero doesn't have such a scary value. Fisher's old yik, just with this chi value. He has already ranked among the top five N masters. I didn't expect that I would have the opportunity to jointly develop N with this level of N practitioners. What a great honor. Thanks, take the cool kill. I owe you a favor. If you need anything in the future, you can come to me as long as you don't violate my rules. Fisher put away the embodied N detection phone in his hand, and thanked Nakulu next to him. During this month, it can be said that Nakalu has devoted 12% of his energy to help himself develop this N. Fisher is not an ungrateful person so he directly gave Nakulun a favor. Nakalu naturally knew how terrifying the value of a favor at Fisher's level was. Hearing this, he quickly waved his hand. No, 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 it's my honor to develop them together with you, Your Excellency Fisher. Nakulu hurriedly waved his hand, indicating that he could not take this favor. However, Fisher would not waste his saliva on this matter with Nakulun, and directly settled down domineeringly. That's it, you can come to me when you need help. Immediately, Shell waved his hand and left here. As for Nakulun, he froze in place watching Fisher's gradually receding figure, staring at him motionlessly. It was not until a long time later that Nakulu realized it. The next moment, Nakulu was ecstatic in his heart. This level of favor, I'm going to send it. The ecstatic Nakulu roared up to the sky. On the other side, Fisher had already boarded the Zoldyk family's car arranged earlier and headed to the airport. Is my thought value already so huge? According to the original book, it is estimated that Nakulu's thoughts on UP are huge and it is estimated to be seven or eight hundred thousand, and it will be close to one million. My current mind energy should already be stronger than Yuppie's. The three guards have almost the same Nianchi cultivation, even if there is a gap, it is not very big. I just don't know how much Nitero's thoughts are worth. Although this guy said that he was no match for Neferpatu, he almost knocked Neferpatu out of Donguichuo with a random palm. And according to Nitero, yes, but enough to do that. It can't be ruled out that the upper limit of his cultivation for hundreds of years is higher than that of Neferpatu, but the potential for not reaching the peak is at least six to seven hundred thousand or even seven to eight million. Well, I'll just test it out next time I see it. Looking at the constantly flashing scenery outside the window, Fisher's thoughts continue to diverge. Speaking of which, what is the value of this butler's mind energy? Fisher suddenly thought, and then he showed his mind energy detection mobile phone and started to check on the driver butler. 24,003. Father, what did you call me back for? Ilmi asked Silva expressionlessly in a hall in the castle of a Zoldyk family in Kukalu Mountain. It's not me, it's Fisher who asked me to call you back. Silva replied in a joint. Hey, that Fisher guy? It's really a surprise, it's the first time he used this kind of authority. Does it mean that you are ready to take over the family? Eel fans were surprised by Silva's answer. It's fine if that's the case. Fisher doesn't want to accept the family right now, saying he's too young. Silva shook his head and sighed, regretting. Crook, Gailu, Fisher. Did you say when you'll be here? Kikio asked to Crook and Gailu who were standing not far away. Yeah, Fisher notified us an hour ago, but didn't tell us when to arrive. Crook shook his head. Except for Maha, Kilyu and Fisher, everyone else in the family is here, including Gail and Crook. Kilyu and Fisher were outside, and because Maha didn't want to come over, Fisher couldn't move. Then, do you know what Fisher meant by asking us to gather? Gino also spoke at this time, and asked the two of them. Apostrophe vertical bar. I know that. When we explored a secret realm with Fisher before, Fisher got a seed in it, which is the tree species of vitality tree. After more than a month of cultivation and growth, this seed has already borne fruit. This kind of fruit can enhance a person's energy. Fisher must have brought you here to distribute vitality fruit to you. Crook nodded, and then stood up and explained. Exclamation mark as soon as this explanation came out, everyone present was stunned, with incredulous expressions on their faces. This is the first time they have heard of the existence of a fruit that can improve mind energy. They know the value of this kind of thing as soon as they hear it. Where is the fruit of the vitality tree now? Take it out. Ye Ermi asked Crook with excitement on his paralyzed face. The energy in his body began to surge, 
as if Crook wanted to do it without taking out the vitality fruit. Ilmi, shut up. Seeing Yami's appearance, Gina frowned and shouted. Only then did Yami regain her composure, but judging from her trembling appearance, she felt that her heart was not at peace. Immediately, Gina escaped the cell phone from his clothes and called Fisher. However, the phone rang from outside the door. Huh? Grandpa, what are you calling me for? Fisher, who had just returned from his room and brought the fruit Crook picked this month, asked suspiciously. Is the matter about the vitality fruit true? Jean Yuo asked seriously. Oh, you heard what Crook and the others said. It's true. Today I gave you the fruits of the vitality tree, that's why I called you here. Hearing this, Fisher smiled slightly, and then said gently, I have thirty in my hand now, and you have two for each of you. However, before that, let me detect how strong your mind energy is. Fisher took the box containing the vitality fruit out of the system space, and then materialized the mind energy detector phone, faintly said, dot. Chapter 94 Everyone's Intensity of Thought Chi, Effect of Vitality Fruit Spirit Value? What do you mean? Silver asked. Everyone present frowned upon hearing Fisher's words. This is the Nye developed, which can detect the strength of a person's mind. I want to see how much a vitality fruit can enhance a person's thought energy, so before you eat the vitality fruit, I will check it out, and I will also check it after you eat it. Fisher raised his Nian Chi detection cell phone, explained. If the effect of the vitality fruit is very strong, then Fisher does not mind eating one every month. If the effect of the vitality fruit is not strong, then Fisher feels that he should not waste it. The speed of my own cultivation is already very fast. If the effect of the vitality fruit is not strong, I will give my share to others to use. Great Grandfather Maha, Grandpa Gino, Father Silver, Mother Kikio, Elder Brother Ilmi, Second Child Miji, Myself, Fourth Child Kilua, and also Kalukto. There are ten people in the family, and each person takes two pills a month. Then the remaining ten Fissers plan to give Crook and their four direct butlers to each. In this way, there will be 28 people. As for the remaining two fissers, they are going to save them. In the future, if there are more members directly under the housekeeper, they will be given to that person. So that's how it is. I understand. Then let me test it. Everyone in 010 understood after hearing what was said. Silver continued to speak and asked himself, Father, let me do it. Elder brother Yi Ermi also stood up. Now he can't wait to see how much this vitality fruit can enhance his mind energy. Okay. Don't argue. It will be fine soon. Regarding this, Fisher was a little speechless. There is no need to argue about this kind of thing, as long as one hand touches the person who wants to detect with one's own thought energy detection, then it can be detected very quickly. Then hurry up, Yi Ermi urged with a blank expression. The others also nodded, indicating that they hadn't seen each other. Soon, Fisher contacted the people present one by one, and found out the intensity of their thoughts. Grandpa Gino 493,000 Dad Silver 400362 Brother Eel Fans 260,000 Mother Kikio 300230 Sixth Kaluto 83033 Crook 280,000 Gay Ilu 300,122 Second Dick Minimum 12,369 Grandpa Ginuo has the highest level of Nian Chi, which is close to 500,000, and his second child, Miji, who likes to stay at home has the lowest Nian Chi, only over 10,000. Ajbi, as for the two guys, Crook and Gay Ailu, it seems that because of the rewards from the system, the strength of the thoughts of the two guys who were originally not as good as eel fans actually surpassed eel fans. Hey, my thought value is actually only 260,000? Grandpa, Dad, how much do you have? Eel fans looked at the Nian Chi value table printed out by Fisher's Nian Chi detection mobile phone in his hand and was a little surprised, then looked at his grandfather Gino and his father Silver and asked. 490,000. 400,000 replied Grandpa Gino and Dad Silver respectively. I see. It seems that I'm still far behind. Ye Ermi nodded, not surprised. Immediately, Ye fans looked at Fisher and asked curiously, Fisher, what is the strength of your mind? As soon as these words came out, everyone's eyes turned to Fisher. Obviously, everyone present is very concerned about this matter. Me? My Nian Chi value is more than twice that of Grandpa. Seeing that everyone's eyes were on him, Fisher replied calmly without panicking. Exclamation mark. As soon as this answer came out, everyone's hearts suddenly set off a stormy sea, especially Grandpa Gino, Dad Silver and Brother Eel fans. The three of them all guessed about the intensity of Fisher's energy, but they didn't expect the intensity of Fisher's air conditioning to be so terrifying. Ah, Fisher, Mommy's baby. You really didn't let mom down. After being dazed for a moment, mom Kikio was the first to react, rushed over excitedly, hugged Fisher in her arms, shouted excitedly, Mom, let me go. Fisher struggled helplessly and shouted, Huh, it's true that the blue is better than the blue. Grandpa Genuo was deeply moved. He is Fisher's mentor. He taught Fisher how to practice and, and he watched Fisher grow. But I didn't expect Fisher's strength improvement to be so terrifying. Before, it was just a tie with silver, but a few months later, 
Fisher's mind energy actually surpassed his own, and reached twice his level. Old, old, although it's inappropriate to say that at my age, Dad, you are indeed right. I feel that I am already old and can't keep up with the speed of young people. Silver followed suit. Grandpa, Dad, don't generalize. This kid is a monster. He can't represent us young people. Ye Ermi retorted. He really didn't want to be compared with the monster Fisher. Obviously I am several years older than Fisher. But since Fisher was eight years old, I have been crushed by Fisher in all aspects. He is really too difficult. Okay, let's not talk about this. You all eat a vitality fruit first, and then test it to see how much energy the vitality fruit can improve. Fisher shook his head funny and said, but he muttered inwardly. What do you compare me to? I have cheats. How about you? Everyone nodded. Without any delay, they took their portion of fruit from Fisher's hand and began to eat it. However, as soon as he bit it, everyone's expressions became unified, as rich as they could be. Knowing Fisher's analysis of micro-expressions, it's sour. Moreover, the half-facial and facial-paralyzed faces of Grandpa Gino, Dad Silver, and Brother Eel fans can all have this kind of reaction, and the acidity can be imagined. However, although it was sour, everyone still let a vitality fruit. After eating all of it, Fisher's Yuan clearly sensed that the thoughts on everyone's body had suddenly increased a bit. Although not much, it is indeed enhanced. It seems that the cultivation was successful, but I don't know the effect. Looking at it, Fisher muttered and began to detect again. 2000, each vitality fruit can enhance the value of 2000. Two per person per month, which means 4000 air conditioning value. The effect is not bad. Although it's not as good as the increase in mind energy gained from my monthly practice. It's much higher than the mind energy gained from Grandpa Gino's monthly practice. Sure enough, after perceiving the enhanced mind energy in their bodies, a gleam of light flashed in everyone's eyes. Fisher, make a condition. How can I give me the remaining fruits? Ye Ermi asked excitedly with dilated pupils. No, two for each person, this is my rule. Fisher shook his head and rejected Ye Ermi, then took out a vitality fruit, and directly bit into it. The next moment, Shell's face was also extremely wonderful. The effect is good and you can't just give up this benefit. Dot. Chapter 95, Nianki increases the value, stabbing eel fans. In the dark secret room, Fisher slowly opened his eyes, and then materialized the Nianchi detection mobile phone to detect his own Nianchi value. 1,050,032. It has been a month since the last time the vitality fruit was distributed to Dad and the others. During this month, Fisher has been practicing with all his strength. After eating two vitality fruits, Fisher's Nianchi value was 1,025,000 and the strength of Nianchi value reached this level in the past one month. That is to say, with Fisher's ability to increase by ten times, Fisher in the state of full strength cultivation can increase the value of mind energy by about 25,000 in ten months. It can increase about 300,000 a year. Of course, this is the speed of cultivation that Fisher can only achieve when he does nothing and tries his best to increase his potential capacity. Naturally, it is impossible for Fisher to do this. The development of various trivial matters and various abilities and moves will take up half to half of Fisher's time. That is to say, in one year, Fisher can only increase the energy value of about 150,000 under normal circumstances. However, this is only mind energy cultivation. Counting the increase of mind energy when entitlement is increased, Fisher thinks that it should be able to increase plus 200,000 in 10 years. Of course, this is the case when an Hui is promoted. Just like when Fisher was upgraded in the One Piece world. Fisher felt that his Nianchi value had skyrocketed. According to Fisher's valuation of the mind energy in his body, the value of mind energy in his body has skyrocketed by at least 200,000 during that upgrade. Let's not count the benefits for the time being, and count the vitality fruit. I can raise 200,000 a year. After all, I can eat two garden breaths every month. Tick, tick, tick. When Fisher was thinking about how much his mind energy could increase in a year, the mobile phone beside him lit up, and then a strange ringtone rang. Crook, what does this guy want from me? Fisher murmured to himself suspiciously while looking at the display, and then connected the phone. Hey, Fisher, hurry up and take care of your bastard brother. If you come to disturb my research next time, I will do it. Crook's roar came from one side as soon as the phone was connected. It made Fisher unconsciously keep the phone away from his ears. After listening to Crook's words, black lines immediately dropped on Fisher's forehead. Damn brother, I ran to get the idea of the vitality tree again. That's the character of the old man Ilmi. When you encounter something good, you want to hold it in your own hands. In the original book, this is the case after knowing Kilua's specialness to Aluka, and want to control Kilua, so as to master the infinite talk of Naga. Now as soon as the vitality tree appeared, this guy had the idea of the vitality tree. If it wasn't for the vitality tree being guarded by Gailu and Kruk in turn, they wouldn't even know it was transplanted to that secret base by this guy. It's not a problem to continue like this. Fisher scratched his forehead, feeling a little helpless. Why don't you force this guy, Ilmi, to make a vow not to go near the vitality tree? No, 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 they are relatives anyway, 
so they can't be treated so harshly, forget it, let Crook and the others do it. Thinking of this, Fisher gave orders directly to Crook. Crook, next time this guy wants to get the idea of the vitality tree, you can call Gailu together, push him to the ground and beat him to death, just give him a breath. I'll treat him then. Fisher ordered lightly. Fisher is very clear about his own healing ability, even if he has only one breath left, he can still save him. Moreover, even if it is dead, Fisher can bring it back. After all, I have already obtained the recognition of my natural teeth. The ability of touching your heavenly blade is already usable like Ming Dawani Yupo. As for this guy who is a fan of year, if he doesn't give this guy a special lesson, this guy won't stop. I asked Crook to study how to divide the vitality tree and plant more airless trees. Zero. If your fans continue to make trouble like this, what should I do if something goes wrong? That's what you said. Next time this guy comes over, I'll ask Gay Ilu to beat him up with me. Crook on the other side was very excited when he heard this sentence, and reminded him loudly, as if afraid of Fisher taking back his words. He hung up the phone. Ilmi, you're really going to cause me trouble, you brick. How can I take over Zoldik if I don't teach you a lesson? Looking at the hung up phone, Fisher sighed heavily. Afterwards, Shell got up and left the secret room. It's time to give the vitality fruit to kill you, Kurapika, and Menchai. You can't favor one another. Muttering to himself, Fisher walked out of the secret room. Speaking of these three guys, Wart stayed in the sky circle with Gun during this time and did not leave. And Kurapika has been staying in New Kexon City. As for Menchai, this guy has plunged headlong into the depths of the wetlands since the last time he left Kukalu Mountain. According to her, there are many May thieves in the depths of the wet Mel wetland. As long as she visits that place, she must be the top hunter in the world after she comes out. But even so, the guy's connection with Fisher has never been broken. I will call Fisher every few days to report his safety, and will send text messages when I can't get through. The last time Fisher left the world of Hunter X Hunter to go to the world of One Piece for more than a month, this guy sent Fisher as many as 15 messages, all reporting his whereabouts. Although she doesn't know how her strength has improved. Fisher knows that this guy has already found dozens of dreamy delicacies. It is estimated that the May cells have been raised to a certain level, and the strength improvement should be very objective. Let's go to Menchai first. I haven't seen her for so long. I miss her a lot. Muttering to himself, Fisher embarked on a journey to the wetland of Shimao. Dot. Chapter 96. Menchai who came from behind. Here we are, Master Fisher. A black car stopped outside the wetland, and the butler in a black suit and sunglasses said respectfully, Ah, you can go back. Wait for my call. Fisher nodded and ordered, and then got out of the car. Yes, Master Fisher, the butler replied, and then drove away from here. The last time I came here was half a year ago. I don't know where that guy Menchai is now. Looking at the wetlands shrouded in smoke, Fisher murmured to himself. The next moment, Fisher turned into a bolt of lightning and soared into the sky, and was submerged in the smoke in an instant. At the same time, in the wet male wetlands, this guy Menchai is sitting in front of a bonfire and eating. A huge piece of barbacoa was roasting on the bonfire and a large pile of huge animal bones was piled up not far away from it. One can imagine how big Menchai's meal is 887, and around, in the smoky darkness, one after another hidden monsters stared at this side with burning eyes, but they didn't dare to take a step forward. Many monsters even showed timidity in their eyes when they looked at Menchai. Obviously, these monsters were all beaten by Menchai, and they were even frightened. Fisher would be very surprised if he was here. You must know that he and his grandfather Jin Yuo also killed a lot of monsters when they came here, and they didn't make these monsters timid. But Menchai did it. In fact, Fisher was quite surprised. Fisher, who descended from the sky, immediately noticed the many monsters around here, and noticed the timid emotions of these monsters. You're doing well here. I never made these guys so scared when I came here before. Fisher said unexpectedly. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Startled by Fisher's sudden appearance, Menchai choked directly scratching his neck desperately, trying to swallow the food in his throat. Fisher. Dot. Although she was a little speechless at Manchai's appearance, Fisher still helped her, using the healing system to smooth her breath and let him swallow the food in his throat. Hey, don't be afraid. The most you come here is to find them to fight and improve the favor, right? I came here to be a big eater. Manchai proudly raised a huge leg flesh in his hand, and said with a smile, Fisher, well, it's really scary. It doesn't matter if you die. But after you die, your body will be gnawed by the enemy, which makes these monsters very scared. However, it's not scary to think about it. In nature, this kind of situation is very common. Or maybe it's because this enemy is a human. By the way, Fisher, you came just in time. I just found a very valuable plant. Come with me then. At this moment, Menchai suddenly remembered something, and said with a serious expression, Baby? Well, baby, it's a kiwi tree. Although I don't know what effect it has. I can feel that the kiwi fruit grown on that tree is of great help to the human body. My may cells are eager for that kind of peach. However, the kiwi fruit on that kiwi fruit tree is not yet ripe, and we need to wait another two days. Besides, there are two forces guarding there. Since you are here, 
Please help me when the time comes. Menchai nodded and explained. Influence? Fisher naturally agreed to Menchai's request. Ah, the monkey in the twelve earthly branches, that guy brought a few men to wait there, specially waiting for the fruit on the kiwi tree to ripen. Besides, I also found several species of special macaques in the wet male wetlands staring at the tree. If I'm alone, it's a little troublesome to occupy that tree. You are here, and we will work together to snatch that tree down. Menchai continued talking, his eyes began to shine, and the corners of his mouth curled up. Started drooling. Hearing this, Fisher knew that the guy who caught Menchai wanted to monopolize that tree, really greedy. However, Fisher did not refuse. Since Menchai wants to monopolize it, then monopolize it. Moreover, something that can make May cells crave for it is definitely not a simple thing. Ah, that's right. Suddenly, Fisher remembered something, took out four vitality fruits from the system space, and threw them to Menchai. Seeing this, Menchai quickly waved one hand, took the box containing the vitality fruit, and asked in doubt, what is this? Good stuff, eat it quickly, Fisher said with a smile. Huh? Good thing, yes, I can feel it. However, why do my May cells seem to dislike the things in it? Menzan's expression was very strange. She could feel that the box Fisher gave her contained things that were beneficial to her, but the May cells in her body disliked it very much. This is very contradictory. However, since it was given to him by Fisher, Menchai naturally wouldn't doubt it. After opening the box, he took out one of the fruits and bit it down. The next moment, Menchai became a master of Peking opera, and his expression changed. Kaleidoscopic people. Fisher, what did you give me? Afterwards, Menchai's roar resounded throughout the forest, startling countless birds and beasts. Ha ha, I said it was a good thing. Looking at Menchai who kept rubbing his cheeks, Fisher laughed gloatingly. He was also like this before, the strong sour taste of the vitality fruit is really unbearable. Hearing this, Menchai gave him a hard look. She sort of knew why her body felt that the vitality fruit was good for her, but her maysels disliked it. The maysel likes to taste food the most. The vitality fruit is so sour, and it is purely sour. How could the maysel like it? Okay. I won't laugh anymore, let me test your Nianqi cultivation for you first. Nanki cultivation base? Well, Nianqi cultivation base, stretch out your hand. Fisher materialized the detector, said gently. 386,930. Hey, your strength has improved really fast, and your Nianqi cultivation level is 3.6, so it's so strong. Looking at the value displayed on the detector, Fisher was a little surprised. This value is almost caught up with Dad Silver. This guy Menchai is a latecomer. Aptitude is the worst among members of Fisher's faction, but the speed of improvement is the fastest. When he first joined his own faction, this fellow Menchai's Nianchi cultivation base was close to 100,000, no more. Unexpectedly, in the past six months, Menchai's Nianchi has become so strong. However, if you think about it carefully, with the Maysells and the grace of God, this wetland with dreamy food and many monsters is like a fish in water for Menchai and it is normal to have this kind of strength improvement. Menchai, has your favor been upgraded? Ah, you said favor. My favor has reached 4-3, hurry up. Quick. Chapter 97, Simon Treasure who is scared one after another. It's really this guy. Standing in a hidden place a thousand meters away, Fisher used Nitero's viewing method to look at a huge kiwi tree a thousand meters away, and said calmly. Ah, this guy seems to have known that there is such a special kiwi tree here, so he guarded it half a month ago. Every time those special kiwis come over, they are repelled by them. Menchai nodded, and then described what happened here. Speaking of the special macaque in Menchai's mouth. This stuff is really interesting. If it wasn't for what Grandpa Gino said, Fisher wouldn't know that there are animals as wonderful as those in One Piece world in this world. The scientific name is the existence of special macaques, and you can regard them as special soldiers among macaques. It was born after a country sent more than a dozen special soldiers who had cultivated cold ability to enter here decades ago. The macaques that can exist in the depths of the wet male wetland are naturally impossible to be ordinary macaques. These special macaques were originally just powerful and very smart macaques. After meeting these special soldiers who were dispatched in 2009, I learned from these soldiers, and also imitated the various habits of these special soldiers, and trained myself as a special soldier a special soldier among macaques. It is almost exactly the same behavior as the group of baboons on the island where Hawkeye is located in one piece. This guy belongs to Byangda. Do you want to kill him right here? Sai Fisher murmured looking at the twelve earthly branches lying leisurely under the kiwi tree. And at the moment when Fisher's words came out, a thousand meters away, Sai under the kiwi tree suddenly shuddered involuntarily, and the whole person instantly became vigilant. The three companions he brought were puzzled when they saw Sai's appearance. What's wrong with you? Boss? One of them people asked. Go, get out of here immediately. Sai looked around in panic and gave orders to the three subordinates, then carefully left the kiwi tree and entered the mist. Seeing this, the three subordinates looked at each other, and they all saw the doubts among each other. However, since the boss gave such an order, they could only keep up and leave here quickly. On Fisher's side, Menchai, 
who was also watching Sai's movements with a gaze, put down his hands speechlessly. This guy is so cautious. You just said a word. Even if he sensed your murderous intentions towards him, you don't have to leave just like that. Regarding Sai's choice, Manchai couldn't complain. This, it should be called Kungxin. Fisher also had a strange expression on his face. Through the observation just now, Fisher can clearly see that the reason why Sai uses this kind of movement completely is because his own sentence never reached his ears. It's just completely irrelevant words. What is it from the heart? It's called counseling. It's called a dog. Menchai spat and said unceremoniously and contemptuously. You decide, huh? Those special macaques came out. Suddenly, Fisher found that after Sai and others left, a group of macaques wearing tattered special equipment ran out of the dark and climbed up the huge kiwi tree in twos and twos. One by one stood beside the ripe kiwi, drooling and waiting. It really did appear. Since that's the case, let's go there too. Otherwise it won't be worth the loss if we get eaten by these monkeys. Menchai also saw it, and then shouted and then his body flash turned into a pea and bounced out. Compared to this, what I'm thinking now is whether to kill Sai, by Anders undercover agent. However, it doesn't seem like this guy has anything to do with me being an undercover agent for Banda. Forget it. Looking at Menchai's disappearing figure, Fisher muttered to himself, and glanced at the place where Sai left while speaking. Immediately, Fisher followed Menchai's pace and rushed towards the huge kiwi tree. And as Fisher spoke again, Sai, who had already retreated, was rushing towards the periphery of Shimera Wetland, trembling again. His whole body was extremely cold, thousands of cold air shot straight from the soles of his feet to the sky. The next moment, Sai completely gave up on the way of rushing, and directly sprinted towards the wet Mel wetland at the fastest speed. He was completely frightened by the panic that surged in his heart twice, and he broke out in cold sweat while running. Mardan, which scary guy is here, and he is specifically targeting me. Which monster did I provoke? Naturally, Fisher doesn't know that the thought that arises in his heart by accident will be perceived by Sai, scaring Sai into such a picture. Even if they knew, they would probably laugh and applaud. As for Fisher, when Fisher came over, Mench I had already killed several special kiwis and occupied the kiwi fruit tree. It's really stingy for such a big tree to bear so few fruits. Holding a dozen kiwi fruits, Mench I glanced at the huge kiwi fruit tree, and his words were full of contempt. Fisher, Fisher, here you go, try it. I don't know what effect it has. Mench I threw a kiwi fruit to Fisher and picked up a kiwi himself. Fisher reached out to take it, and then directly bit down on it making the kiwi fruit three or two times. As soon as he finished eating, Fisher felt a warm current spreading through his body, nourishing his body. This is? Fisher was a little surprised. Fisher could feel that as the warm current continuously entered his body, his body seemed to become stronger. So that's it, this thing is to increase physical strength. Menchai also sensed the effect of kiwi, excitedly said. Transplant this thing to Kukalu Mountain. Fisher nodded and directly made a decision. Let Crooks study it and see if it can be mass-produced. The effect of kiwi fruit strengthening the body is not very obvious, but it is still there. It's just that the number is too small, but if this number is increased, then this thing will be very terrifying. And it just so happens that Crook is an expert in studying these strange plants. Let her study how to increase production, and it will be of great help to the Zoldyk family and herself. I think so too, but, Crook, you chicken of the twelve earthly branches? Menchai nodded, agreeing, but the next moment, she was attracted by the Crook that Fisher said. Well, Crook and Gailu. Both of them are like you now, they are my direct housekeepers, you can communicate with each other. Fisher nodded and explained. Really, that's great. I used to admire them both very much. It's decided, I'll go back to Kukalu Mountain too. Menchai was very excited when he heard that Crook and Gale, two of the twelve earthly branches, has become his colleagues. You want to go back? That's just right, I'll leave this thing to you to get it back. I'm going somewhere else. Give it to me. Chapter 98 Goodbye Kill you are, The Talent of Horror. Speaking of which, I don't know if Kilua and Gun are now the hosts, however, according to Gun's character, he is probably thinking about how to return Hisoka's punch. Standing in the huge square inches front of the Sky Arena, Fisher looked at the huge towering building and murmured inwardly. Immediately, Fisher stepped out and walked towards the gate of the arena. When Fisher entered the Sky Arena, Gun and Hisoka were fighting fiercely in an arena on the 200th floor of the Sky Arena. In the auditorium, many spectators are constantly bursting into shouts and enthusiasm. Gun. This guy has really mastered Lao Gao's teachings. However, this level can't beat that guy Hisoka. This guy didn't use his full strength from the beginning. Although the battle between the two looks intense, it's Hisoka who is throwing water. This guy is really a pervert. In the auditorium, Kilu leaned on his chin, watching the battle below, thinking silently in his heart. Especially after seeing the red scar on Hisoka's face, Kilua couldn't help complaining. As a killer, Kilua's combat experience and eyesight are much better than Gun's. So he can tell that Hisoka was beaten in the face by Gun because Hisoka voluntarily was beaten. Because of this, Kilua thinks Hisoka is perverted. After all, 
who wouldn't deliberately get beaten up if he wasn't a pervert. Moreover, the back and forth between the two on the court was also done on purpose by Hisoka. That guy seems to be very keen on playing like this. No, he is cultivating the target he wants to fight, turning the green apple in his mouth into the ripe apple. It really is the perverted Hisoka. At this moment, a voice rang in Kiliu's ear, making Kiliu tremble all over. Brother, Kiliu immediately recognized the owner of the voice, and couldn't help shouting out the message. Hey, long time no see, Kiliu. Fisher who just arrived here waved his hand and greeted casually. After saying hello, Fisher reached out and pressed Kiliu's head, rubbing it vigorously. Hey, brother, I'm not a kid anymore. Kiliu suddenly turned from embarrassment into anger when Fisher rubbed his head, and said loudly. Yeah, you're not a kid anymore. Fisher nodded while looking at the detector in his hand. Hey, it's more than 20,000. Sure enough, your talent is really terrifying. Looking at the value of Kiliua displayed on the detection phone, Fisher was deeply moved. Kiliua has only been practicing for more than five months, but his potential energy has already reached this value. Although it is only 20,000, it is already the level that most of the gentlemen can only reach in their lifetime. For example, those companions of Karapika in the original work probably couldn't reach this level in terms of the strength of their thoughts. These ninjas are referred to as rookies among rookies, and Kiliwa can be regarded as out of the rookie level. Huh? 23,015? What is this? Annoyed, Kiliwa noticed the detector in Fisher's hand, looked over it curiously, and was immediately puzzled when he saw the number on it. The strength of your thoughts. It took a few months to reach this level, Kiliwa, your talent is truly terrifying. Fisher explained aloud. Hey, it's really interesting to realize the strength of mine energy into numbers. Kiliwa immediately became interested when he heard that and directly snatched the detector from Fisher's hand. Brother, Fisher didn't care about this, but rubbed his chin and thought about it. If you are so strong in five months, then you can practice for 50,000 a year. Kiliwa's talent should be about the same as Gun's, and it's no wonder that Gun was able to crush Neferpetu after forced growth in the original book. The strength of Neferpetu's energy should not be much different from that of Yupi. If the value of mind energy increases by 50,000 a year, it will be 1 million in 20 years. With the strength of the enhancer's thought energy and a potential energy of 1 million, its displayed energy will be very scary, and in addition to the special nature of its guessing boxing game, it can burst out more than the displayed energy. At the very least, it can burst out with hundreds of thousands of manifestations, and it seems normal for the most powerful attack to blow Neff up to dry with a single punch. Glancing at Kiliwa who was studying the detection of mobile phones, Fisher was slightly envious. Talented people can really do whatever they want. No, it should be said that the protagonist can do whatever he wants. Shaking his head. Fisher dispelled the envy in his heart. I have the ability to multiply by ten times, and I am not weaker than these two guys, or even much stronger. Taking a step forward, Fisher left Kiliwa's side and walked towards the Blair Tunnel, where there was a special guy. I remember you were the guy who fought against Hisoka a few months ago. What's your business with me? Leaning against the wall and watching the perverted Hisoka's play, Machi noticed Fisher's arrival and was a little puzzled. Well, it's nothing serious, Fisher said lightly. But the next moment his figure disappeared. This immediately made Machi tremble all over, and his whole body entered a state of alert. However, in the next moment, Machi was stunned, not daring to move, because Fisher didn't know when he had already appeared behind her, pressing a hand on her body. Machi can feel that once he makes a move, he will face death. This was her first feeling after she realized that Fisher was holding her shoulder. This feeling terrified her. This is her physical instinct. Vertical bar well, 150,000, as a member of Phantom Troop. You are really good. At this time, Machi heard Fisher's voice, and his heart trembled. The identity was exposed, and Machi knew that his identity was exposed. But she still didn't dare to make a move. Um, this guy Hisoka doesn't want to play anymore. At this time, Fisher's voice came again. Hearing this voice, Machi looked over habitually. Sure enough, this guy Hisoka had given up playing, knocked Gun away from the ring, and was looking this way. Buzz. The next moment, Machi felt a terrifying aura erupting from behind her, instantly making Machi feel as if she was in an abyss, and the whole person kept trembling, wang ha how. And below, Hisoka, who was looking at this side excitedly, also died down at this time, and his face twitched wildly. This guy will really kill me, forget it, don't tease this guy anymore, I want to live for a while longer. Hisoka, who was originally excited when he noticed Fisher's appearance, didn't dare to have such thoughts at all, because he knew it was Fisher's warning, brother. What a terrifying air. Brother Fisher's anger is terrifying. Which monster is this? It makes people dare not have any resistance at all. How can the Sky Arena attract such a level of existence? Not only Hisoka was scared, but some of them who came to watch the battle in the arena at this time were all falling into panic. The eyes one by one looking at this side were full of fear. Regarding this, Fisher didn't care at all. Hooked Kiliwa's side, and Fisher left here. Dot. Chapter 99, Kiliwa's Pride and Regret. Brother, 
Your Nian Chi is too terrifying, Fisher shouted in shock from Kilia in the room on the floor of the Sky Arena. He wanted to shout this sentence from the auditorium of the arena just now. Yeah, Gun on the side also nodded like a chicken chasing rice, his eyes full of admiration. Work hard, with the potential of the two of you, sooner or later you will be able to cultivate Nian Chi to the level as strong as mine. Fisher encouraged with a light smile. Ah, I will. Kilia nodded firmly. He has now made Fisher his target. Well, as the first goal, surpass my brother. However, this goal is peaches for Kilua. The Kilua ghost cannot surpass Fisher in his life. After hearing Kilua's words, Gun on the side quickly said, I will definitely work hard. This guy seems to have become Fisher's little fanboy. Fisher doesn't care much, though. I came here this time to find you, Kilua. Here, this is the vitality fruit. After eating it, you can increase your mind energy. As for how you want to use it, you can decide for yourself, Fisher said, while taking out the vitality fruit share belonging to Kilua from the system space. With Kilua's personality, it is estimated that he will not eat alone, and will definitely share it with Gun, and Fisher is too lazy to care about it. I guess I can't handle it. Hey, there is such a thing, thank you old brother 107. Kilua was surprised when he heard Fisher's words, but then he understood the meaning of Fisher's words, and thanked him quickly. Kilua is very clear that his elder brother doesn't have a good sense of Gun so he will never give such good things to Gun, and with his own personality, he won't enjoy this kind of thing alone, just now Fisher's exhortation has been specifically explained, and he doesn't care how he uses it. In other words, my elder brother allowed himself to distribute the vitality fruit to Gun. This is very contradictory, but it makes him very grateful. Hey, Gun, thank you brother quickly. After thanking Gun, looking at Gun who was still dumbfounded and unresponsive, Kilua suddenly twitched his eyes and slapped Gun on the head, reminding him. Although Gun didn't know why Kilua slapped himself on the head, but he knew that Kilua wouldn't do it for nothing, so he followed what Kilua said and quickly bowed to thank him. Thank you, Brother Fisher. In the future, report your location to Wu Chong every month, and I will ask Wu Tong to give you two vitality fruits every month. Well, that's it, you guys go back. Fisher glanced at the bowing Gun, sighed slightly, then waved his hand casually, and drove away directly. Sure enough, Fisher still doesn't like Gun, a stunned young man. Is there anything else? That's really great. Thank you brother. Then let's go, brother. Kilua was a little surprised, and then said with a smile, and then impatiently took Gun's hand and left here. This guy distributed his share to Gun, which is equivalent to giving up more than a thousand thoughts per month. However, this guy's talent is stronger than the rest of the family, and he probably won't lag behind the rest of the family. Sitting on the sofa, Fisher thought silently. The vitality fruit has the best effect only when it bears fruit for the first time, and each fruit can increase the mind energy value by two thousand. After that, there are only more than 1,000 to 2,000. Ah, uh, Kilua, why did you ask me to thank Brother Fisher just now? In the corridor, Gun asked in confusion. Idiot, brother, if you say that, you have already allowed me to give you this thing. My brother said that this thing can improve the cultivation of mind energy. Kilua glared at him, and then explained. Gun, this guy doesn't know how to grow his brain. Sometimes it's very witty, but sometimes it's a bit dull and can't turn its head. When my brother said that, he already knew that his character would do this, and he allowed it. That is to say, the elder brother handed over the vitality fruit to Gun through his own hands. In this case, shouldn't Gun be thankful? Um, didn't Brother Fisher give you this? Sure enough, Gun didn't expect this at all. Phew, Gun. Sometimes I really want to pry open your head and see how your head grows. If you get something good, will you, Ajp, share it with me? Kilua said after taking a deep breath. Of course, Gun nodded without hesitation. Yes, so I am the same. In this case, I have obtained such a good thing. Do you want to share it with you? And my brother has always been very bad at your senses, so according to my previous attitude, I will never allow me to give you the vitality fruit. And my brother just said those words. What do you think they mean? The former said with a bit of hatred. It means Brother Fisher gave me the vitality fruit through your hand. Gun's mind was spinning fast at this moment, and he figured it out all at once. That's it, so you said you should thank Brother. Kilua nodded in satisfaction, looking at Gun with a childish look. In this case, I really want to thank Brother Fisher. Gun also came to his senses scratched his head, smiled awkwardly, and said, yeah, let's go back and taste the vitality fruit my brother gave me. Kilua nodded and said, Fisher naturally didn't know that what he said would be made up by Kilua's brain. Fisher just doesn't want to be bothered with this kind of thing, doesn't want to interfere with Kilua's character development. If you know, you will definitely be dumbfounded. The two quickly returned to the room. By the way, the two of them asked for a double room specially from the management staff of the Sky Arena. As soon as they returned to the room, the two couldn't wait to taste the vitality fruit. Then, very sour, although it was very sour, the two of them still ate the vitality fruit. Soon, the two of them felt the changes in the mind energy in their bodies. It's amazing, one vitality fruit is worth ten days of cultivation. After feeling the changes in the mind energy in the body, the two opened their eyes, and a flash of light flashed, Kilua said excitedly. Yeah, 
That's amazing, Gan also nodded excitedly. My brother will ask Wutong to send us two vitality fruits every month from now on. That is to say, we can gain ten more days of cultivation effect every month. Kill you remembered what Fisher said before driving away. In other words, it got even more exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. Kill you, your brother is so kind, Gun nodded, and then said enviously, Kill you, elder brother has always been thinking about Kill you, and will send Kill you as soon as he has any good things. If only I had such a brother. Hey, you're envious, Kill you said proudly. However, Kill you felt a little regretful immediately. I really don't know why my brother hates you so much. Otherwise you could be my brother's younger brother. Kill you aside. After saying this, Gun fell silent. Even though Fisher had said the reason why he hated himself before, he was still at a loss and didn't know. Dot. Chapter 100 Machis Fortunately, go to Yukexin City. Hisoka, who is that guy? In the dimly lit room, Machi crossed his arms and asked Hisoka without looking up, with a frightened expression on his face. She was taken aback by Fisher's anger just now. Although Fisher's aura was not mixed with any evil aura, the pure aura made her feel like she was in an abyss and she didn't dare to have a little bit of resistance. He, Fisher Middle. Zoldyak, a member of the Zoldyak family. Hisoka looked at Machi with a smile, and replied with a hint of schadenfreude in his eyes. For Machi's current situation, Hisoka is very satisfied. Hey, I can't be the only one who is scared. Now seeing Machi being frightened by Fisher like this, Hisoka's inner balance is much more balanced. Zoldyak, how can there be such a terrifying existence in this family? Machi heard this, and his pupils constricted suddenly. Of course. She knew about the Zoldyak family. Several years ago, another member of their phantom troop was assassinated by Silver, the patriarch of the Zoldyak family. At that time, the head of the regiment deliberately found Silver's Zoldyak for revenge, but she didn't know the result. However, since then, the head of the group has given orders, and the matter has been exposed. I didn't expect that the person who fought against the department last time was actually from the Zoldyak family, and he was so terrifying, but his aura made him dare not make any moves. Thinking of this, Machi's heart suddenly sank and at the same time he was a little grateful. Ah, yes, I am glad. Fortunately, the team leader didn't decide to fight the Zoldyak family at the beginning. Instead, he fought with the Zoldyak family's patriarch in the fighting way, and then revealed it. If that feud continues to this day, then Phantom Troop is definitely at stake. In the face of such a terrifying enemy, it is probably useless for the members of the entire brigade to go together. This matter must be reported to the head of the group. Thinking of this, Machi immediately got up and said goodbye to Hisoka. Hisoka, I'm leaving. Remember not to be late. Hey hey hey, this guy Marja was quite frightened. 11. However, it's no wonder that I was also scared. How did this little monster cultivate? The aura has become so terrifying. However, with such a terrifying aura, his strength has definitely improved greatly, and I really want to fight him. But, forget it. After Michi left, Hisoka laughed lightly, murmured in a low voice, and halfway through the murmur, Hisoka's expression became excited and perverted. But the next moment, Hisoka looked like Lee half of the eggplant was wilted down. Although I am a perverted combat killer, this kind of purely suicidal behavior is still not advisable. I'd better focus on Krilo and Gan. Shaking his head, Hisoka got up and went into the bathroom to show off his figure. It seems that because of Fisher's arrival, Kilio wanted to show his progress in front of Fisher, so he ran to make an appointment for a quick battle that could be fought at any time. The kind that started fighting the next day. I have to say, Kilio is really a genius. This guy has developed super speed in this time period. The speed is fast but the power is a bit unsatisfactory. Moreover, all kinds of skills have been used freely, and they have become proficient. The enemy on the opposite side was completely fooled by Kilua, and Kilua especially showed off his various cold ability skills under Fisher's gaze. It is estimated that in a year or two, this guy will be able to fully rank among the masters. Facing his brother's great progress, Fisher is naturally very pleased. However, it's still a little immature now, and it's still a little powerless to face those famous N people, just in case. Give this sky mark. Looking at Kilua fighting below, Fisher commented to himself. Although Fisher wanted to leave after watching Kilua's fight, but under Kilua's special plea, he stayed and gave some advice to the two of them. Clean up. After that, he left the sky arena contentedly and went to Yukexin City. Zero. Ask for flowers. This trip, Fisher's purpose is to give Menchai, Kilua and Kripika three people with energy fruit. The work of Menchai and Kilua is done and only Kripika is left. I don't know how this kid is doing in Yukexin City. Although there are reports. They are not reported as frequently as Menchai, and Karapika does not report too many work matters. Speaking of which, this Yukex in city is also a three-way zone. Gangsters are everywhere, prosperous and corrupt. It's exactly the same as a certain city in the previous life, but it's no wonder. After all, the prototype is that city. Sitting in the car, Fisher looked out the window at the bustling steel forest, and said silently. Point zero. Soon, Fisher's car arrived at a luxurious hotel. This was arranged with the butler who came out this time. Master Karapika has been notified. Master Karapika said that he will be here on time at 9 o'clock tonight, 
Master Fisher. In the luxurious suite, the butler bowed slightly and reported to Fisher. R, it's hard work, you go down. Standing in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows, looking at the unchanging scenery outside the window, Shell said. Yes, this subordinate retreats. The steward replied, and then retreated. Sure enough, I still prefer quiet places. This kind of steel forest is not suitable for me. Looking at the traffic flow outside the window, Fisher's face remained unchanged but he felt a little tired inside. Just simply don't like this place. Compared with the steel forest, Fisher prefers the secluded forest. Shaking his head, Fisher left the floor-to-ceiling windows, sat on the sofa, slowly closed his eyes, and started his daily practice. Time passed quietly in the continuous rotation of the hour hand on the wall, and the night came quietly. At a certain moment, Fisher opened his eyes and looked towards the door. Come in. I'm sorry, Lord Fisher. The door was opened, and Karapika, who hadn't seen him for a long time, came to Fisher and said with a smile. Long time no see, Kuripika, it seems that you haven't abandoned your practice knife. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.